What's going on, everybody? It is your humble YouTube live stream host, Tim, back with a live stream. I know most of y'all are busy watching the big game. I get it. This stream is for anybody who's not watching it, who wants to talk, you know? You're out there, you got nothing else going on, like me. <laughs> nothing else happening and you want to talk, we're here. Chris, I see you. How you doing? How you doing? You got nothing else going on on a fine Sunday afternoon, Sunday evening. I'm here. Gratitude Gorilla is here. The, the, the side of the microwave and the hot plate is here. We can talk. Sacred Streams, how you doing? MT checking in. Darwin, we are back. We are back. Yes. Yes. That's a that's a interesting question. That's an interesting question because like, yeah. <laughs> I'm like, no, I'm not back. This is taped. Oh, um, now I just with you. Pocahontas, what up? Hey, Dusty. Hey, go go get your fill of Usher. Please, please. We'll be here. Trust me, we'll be here when 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 the when the halftime show's over. What up, MT? Let's see. Yeah, I'm trying to see how many people join. It'll be curious to see how many people join. Angela, how you doing? EB23. Not your mommy too. <laughs> I like it's not your mommy too. Um <laughs> the usernames fascinate me. More interested in what everybody's eating. Um, I'm eating chicken thighs. Chicken thighs have got more expensive, folks. Everything, bro, I think they literally went up in the past like week. A four piece of chicken thighs went up in like the past week. Like it's crazy. Uh, but I'm having chicken thighs and I feel like I got something else in there. I hope I got, oh, I got some rice from yesterday. So that's what I'm having for dinner probably. What up, Ina Stanley? What up, what up, what up? Could care less about the game. Gonna enjoy some self-care this evening. Hey, hey, same here, same here. Shar has been watching police pursuits on YouTube. <laughs> okay. It's funny, boy, YouTube, you can fall down a rabbit hole or something and just get hooked. You know, a couple days later, you'd be like, what, what was I watching that for? You know, there's, there's a lot of stuff going on in the world. Like, I, like I, was, I was watching a bunch of stuff about Mount Everest. Actually, somebody mentioned, I think it was, was it Ken who mentioned it the other day? And then YouTube showed it to me. Funny how that works. And I got wrapped up watching a bunch of videos about Mount Everest. You know, probably do that once in a lifetime. But yeah, it's, it's interesting to, to see, you know, just different stuff. That's one of the things I love with the internet is you can tap into different stuff that like pre-internet you would have never known about or really seen, you know? Uh, EB23, the first stream, I shut it off because I had to find my peace. You know what I mean? Sometimes in life, you got to take some time and find your peace. And, and I'm man enough to admit when I have to find my peace. So I turned the stream off, found my peace. We back at it. We back here. XFF, how you doing? No talk, all action, not a sports ball fan. Hey, hey. I am, but not an NFL fan. So, yeah. I was going to watch it because I was going to bet on it. And then I was like, I don't want to bet on it. Because, like, why? Um, and I was like, if I'm not going to bet on it, then why even watch it? Like, I don't really care. So I was like, I'll just do something different, you know? John, hey, hey, hey. Good to see you. Good to see you, too. Thank you. Uh, Spencer, I, honestly, if someone's unmotivated, I don't know if there's anything we can do to motivate them. I mean, some stuff in life is just... The person has most things in life. The person has to do it themselves. And it sucks because you'd be like, bro, if you would just try this. But like anything you recommend, like if they're not motivated, like you can't, you can give someone motivation, but you can't make them get motivated, you know? Which honestly, it's okay. You know, like different people, A, it's always womb to tomb. So all of us has got to get from womb to tomb. Now we might identify, hey, if the person did it differently, it might be better for them. But that's for them to figure out. You know what I mean? Like, I've got friends I've been telling to come do seasonal work for a decade. They still won't do it. I'm like, bro, like, you're not doing nothing at the house. Like, come. But I have to understand, like, they're on their path. They're on their journey. So all we can do is keep giving them the advice, the, emer the, the motivation, the encouragement. And maybe when it's time, they'll act on it. But, you know, maybe they never will. But like I said, it's their journey. So just like, People have given us stuff that maybe we weren't ready for at the time, or maybe we just don't feel like it's for us. You know, 
and we had to just wait until we were ready, you know? But I totally understand that situation. I, I totally understand when you just want to help somebody out and they don't seem like they're taking the help, but like, you know, womb to tomb, womb to tomb. Not your mama too. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, Super Chat Squad. So thank you for all that you share. Hey, hey, you're welcome. You're welcome. And I appreciate that love and support. Thank you so much. Love that name. I don't know why not your mama too. <laughs> it's so funny to me. Yeah, I put gratitude grill in the background. You know, he here watching. He don't watch the game neither. Esau's watching the game and this at the same time. Okay, okay. Uh, home with J1. Yeah, a lot of people. I, pr I appreciate that compliment. I promise you that's probably one of the things I hear most is that people say I have the same cadence as, as Obama, which I take as a compliment. I take that as a, as a huge compliment. But yeah, I get that. I get that a lot. D's YouTube screens. <laughs> Happy Sunday. MT eating a chicken bowl from Cobb with sweet potato cake. Okay, okay. Char is firmly down that police pursuit rabbit hole eating some Peruvian chicken. Oh, that sounds like a Sunday. That sounds like a Sunday you can be proud of. Get some of that Peruvian in you. Some po police pursuits. You're not going to sleep good tonight, but you... <laughs> that, sounds, that sounds like a good Sunday, but a bad Sunday night sleep. You know? <laughs> I'll just mess with you. I'll just mess with you. Uh, I'll just mess with you. Darwin been stuck on YouTube shorts for hours. That's what they want you to do. That's what they want you. That's why they love shorts. Um, that's what shorts are good for. That binging. Not your mama too discovered the channel last week. Been binging the videos. Yes, thank you. Helping you stay sober. Hey, that's that's one of my main goals in life. You know, if I can use my sobriety story to help others, that's amazing. That is amazing. Naf is eating some kimchi and rice. Okay, okay. Pittsburgh in the building. MKJ, Michael Kirk Johnson. All right, so just another day to me. What up, Lucinda? HXFX. Uh, John, the book Letting Go, um, I like that book. It's definitely, it is a very simple message. Um, I would, it's actually a very thick book, though. So it's like a big book, um, which really breaks down different aspects of letting go. Um I would argue the, the most powerful messages in life are simple. So, yeah, I don't. If someone's like, bro, just let go, that might seem oversimplified. But if you've ever tried to incorporate letting go in your life, I think the message is simple. It's the incorporating it sometimes is difficult. And that's what the book kind of touches on. But it's a really good book. It's a really good book. But once again, I think the simplest truths in life or the truest truths in life are the simplest ones. What up, Lee? <laughs> Diego didn't even know the game was today. I wouldn't have if people hadn't been telling me. You know? Three more roses. Yeah, respectfully. You know, yeah, certain certain things aren't certain people come with tea, you know. James had a perfect time to go grocery shopping. Yeah, I thought about that. If I wasn't streaming, I'd probably be down at the store. This morning I went to the store. There was like nobody out. It was great. It was great. The few people that were out were friendly. I was like, ooh, this is different. Somebody after black life. How you doing? How you doing? Happy Sunday. Not interested in the game. Let's go. I'm not your mama too. You actually have two kids, but I'm not your mama. <laughs> facts. 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 April having a little Chicago style pizza. Okay. What up, TY? Andy doing some puzzles. Okay, okay. Jack Morgan used a clip of me in a recent video. Really? Jack Morgan. I gotta put that in my phone. Hold on. Actually, let me let me I'm, I'm gonna see if I can find that. I always like when people use clips. See if I can find the video. Oh, it's probably that one. <laughs> I'll be I'll be putting people on to the video. I'm telling you, I'll be putting people on the video ideas, or maybe it just seems that way to me. But like, I'll make a, a I'll do a video stream, and then like people start doing it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. They 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 be they be trying to peep what your boy's talking about. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. What up, Jack? Ireland in the building. Okay, Lee, you're not in the Whole Foods parking lot. You're not in the Whole Foods parking lot. 
Yeah. HRH don't even know who's playing. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Boba tea is a new try. I actually really like Boba tea. I actually like Boba tea. It's a little too expensive. Well, it's about the same as kombucha, but TY said, you inspired me to love my truck and not worry about paying for an overpriced rent. Let's go. Let's go. How's it going? Lori Ann, husband's watching the game, so I told him to hang out with Tim. Please tell him, like, it's a dude on the internet. <laughs> I'm about to go hang out with you. That's how you know. That's how you know, man. We saw in the game. You go, hey, I'm about to go hang out with this other dude. He's like, mm -hmm, whatever. <laughs> I'm about to go hang out with John. He's like, whatever. Go <laughs> watch the game. It'd be like that. Appreciate you coming to hang out with us. LC Xmas. Uh, Bryson, really loving this Airbnb. It's a, it's, a, it's a nice one. It's a nice one. And the Wi Fi is amazing, which is one, you know what I mean? Like, it hits all the. Nice neighborhood, amazing Wi-Fi, walkability. It checks all the boxes. So, yeah, this one's definitely making the, the master list. Yeah, find it away. I like to just wait until after the Super Bowl and then just, you know, they'll do best Super Bowl commercial videos. I just watch it then. Like, you know. Al, you want to stop being a boring person? Um, I mean, you got to do some stuff, you know, unless your personality is just like a subdued person. Like, you know, we, we, we got to be who we are. But when in the framework of being who we are, you know, we can switch some stuff up if we've identified there's something else we want to do, I think. Ken, uh, I think I have stayed in an extended state before. Yeah, like I stayed at a my place once, which is an extended stay. Um, it was cool. It was cool. It's funny. I stayed in that my 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 place in Bozeman, and then later actually worked there through like a gig app. So, but it was cool. Yeah, I liked it. I liked. It. Yeah, I mean, some of them are decent. Some aren't. It's like hotels. The wrong extended stay be, ugh, but you get the right runs. But the right ones are usually expensive. My thing with extended stay is they're really expensive. So they're typically more expensive than like a hotel sometimes. For the nice ones. What are we tired turning out to? Yeah, we back. We back. We back. Found found my, you know, found my piece. We back. <laughs> we back. Uh, we here. Okay, I was thinking it was the when I pulled up Jack Morgan, I saw the death of the middle class. I was like, it's probably that video. I'm gonna check that out. Thank you, thank you, uh, thank you, Earl Gray. Yeah, I saw that you could get a suite at the Super Bowl for two point five million dollars. To which I took a deep dive, and I was like, "Let me look at ticket prices for the past twenty years for the Super Bowl." Super Bowl ticket. I mean, that's obviously an extreme example, but I mean, a regular ticket's you know ten grand or something like that. They were up six to twelve grand, basically. You probably couldn't get a Super Bowl ticket for less than six thousand dollars, you know, after the resellers got to them. Super Bowl, I went back and looked. Super Bowl tickets, even like the regular ones, got crazy in like 2019. Up until like 2018, you get a Super Bowl ticket for about, you know, I think it was like five, six hundred bucks. After that, they just went in the thousands. So recently they weren't that crazy. I think six hundred bucks is cool for a Super Bowl ticket. You know, you can take a family of four for less than $2,500 for the seats at least. That's, you know what I mean? That's doable for a super fan. Three grand for a ticket, is if you can get it before the resellers, it's crazy. Six grand is crazy. You know what I mean? But if we're willing to pay it, there was a time people wouldn't have paid it. Now we're willing to pay it. And it's not because we, and that's in, adjusted for inflation, those prices, by the way. So like, I mean, the ones pre- 2019. Um, so why are we willing to pay it now is the question. Because we want Jersey. I want a Sophie Cunningham Jersey. I want a Lexi Hull Jersey. So I don't see a problem with that if you're a sports fan and that's something you like. It's just, man, the, I don't know. So some of the prices in general we're paying for stuff is crazy to me. You know, like I said, six, seven hundred bucks for a Super Bowl ticket. Cool. 
3,000, 4,000, you know what I mean? I don't know. Hey, Delta, I hope you feel better soon. Girl driver checking in. Um, I, I, it took me, I had to work the process of getting sober for many years. So the, the, and this is what a lot of people do. Obviously, like the, the last drink you have, you never have another one. So you could, everyone could say they went cold turkey. But I think a lot of people forget to think about the years beforehand they were trying to quit. So I never say I went cold turkey, even though there was a day when I was like, I'm not drinking anymore five and a half years ago. And I haven't drank since then. But there was years and years and years of me trying to get so I'd said that many times before. Never drink it again. And then two days later, I drink. Two months later, I drink. Eight months later, I drink. A year and a half. You know what I mean? Like there was many stops and starts. And I imagine that's the way it is for most people. Not everybody. But I imagine that's the way it is for most people. That's why I don't like this whole cold turkey term. Because it makes people think it's a one and done. First time I say I'm not drinking, I should be able to quit. When that's not how most people quit. So that's why, you know, I don't like that term cold turkey. It was a process, but we finally got to it, you know. Mecca, your husband's a little jealous. Of me. Ooh, and I'm trying to... <laughs> what up? What up, Devin? Comments coming in good today. Thank y'all. Oh, we almost had 100 likes too. Let's go. Let's go. Uh, we're in the comments. I'm trying to keep up with everybody. Thank you, Angela, for asking people to hit the like button. Thank you for, for being here, Angela. DoorDash is giving away 30 pounds of mayo for watching the Super Bowl commercials. Um, who would want 30 pounds of mayo? It's a lot of mayo. Craig, I think the Final Four is more interesting than the Super Bowl, but that's because I'm a women's sports fan, you know? Elf is going to watch the highlights. I feel you. I feel you. Yeah, DoorDash is probably making the bank today. Uh, I do not live in Colorado, mommy. No, I've been there. I've been there. I've stayed there. I've spent months there many different occasions. Um, I only go to South Carolina in the summer to go to Myrtle Beach. So I don't think I would. I definitely wouldn't live in South Carolina. I don't think um, I could live in Colorado. I, I mean, I lived in Denver for a year last year, but. I wouldn't live in South Carolina. No, no. Uh, retired twenty two. Yeah, I worry about like I worry about things. I think it's like I don't think anyone can get to a place where they don't worry. I think it's a matter of it's it's a matter of how much you worry. Um, things get to me. Things pop up. I worry, you know. But I'm proud of myself these days that I don't worry like I used to. Um, I, eventually, I get to a point where I'm like, it's gonna do. What it's gonna do. <laughs> yeah. There's a lot of stuff I don't worry about. I used to, um, but I still worry, but it's not like it used to be, you know, it's a lot more just like, eh. <laughs> and, and sometimes it take a while to get there. You know, some days, I'll, you know, I may have to talk to a friend of mine and work through it, but there was a time it was just worry, 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 worry. Um, and then I really start realizing like, what's, we all know how this movie ends. So like, what am I worried about? Like. You know, there's basically you're trying to worry away pain and suffering, which I get. I don't want to suffer either, but if it's meant for me to suffer, I'm going to suffer. So I just make the best decisions I can or try to make the best decisions I can. And then, you know, beyond that, yeah, it'll be over one day, no matter what happens. It'll be over one day. So, you know, I don't know. The wake veteran at the gym is empty. Okay. Robert, here's the thing. We are, I think we are in tough economic times. It's just that I think our spending habits are, here's, here's what I learned this years ago from a friend of mine who worked at a strip club. I've told the story before, but this was like during the 2008 crisis. And I was like, well, I'll bet your money's down. And she's like, no, ever since the crisis happened, we've, we've made more money than ever. And I think it's because in tough economic times, we're looking for escapes more than ever. When the economy is good and everybody's up, then we start doing the right thing with our money. We're investing, we're this, we're this. But like when the economy's down, we'll just blow our money on escapism. And I think that's what's happening now. It's like people are, people believe 
that the world is burning down around them. You know, people are very worried about what's coming. And if I'm going to be broke, <clears throat> excuse me, I can imagine some people being like, if I'm going to be broke, I might as well go to the Super Bowl. You know, it's funny. It's almost like when we have good money coming in, we're more responsible than when we have no money. If I'm going to be broke anyway, let me put these Super Bowl tickets on, on, the, on the credit card because I might not be able to do nothing else. It's funny how that works. It's funny how that works. Do I see professional sports as a control mechanism in society? I think it can be used. You know, it's like in the Roman Empire, you know, bread and circuses. I think it can be used that way. Um, I think, I don't think it started that way, but I think it can be used that way. And that wasn't a diss, by the way, at South Carolina. I just don't, I'm just not interested in living on the East Coast. I'm just not. There's a, the Southeast. I'm not interested in living in the Southeast no more. I did my time in the Southeast. So anybody from the Southeast who's went somewhere else knows that a lot is different. And you know, it's cool. Like I said, I lived in, in Georgia. I lived in Florida. It was cool. I got good people there. I got friends there. I'm just not interested in living in the Southeast no more at this moment. So, yeah. That wasn't a diss in South Carolina. I just not interested in it. Y'all gonna stop talking about Taylor, which you're entitled to have your opinion of Taylor Swift. I'm a Swifty, so every time I go to the grocery store and I walk past the magazine now, it's the same magazines about Taylor Swift. I stop and look. For, I don't stop while I look as I'm walking past. I'd be like. I love me some Taylor Swift. So, yeah. But I respect some people don't, but I love me some Taylor Swift. Mm -hmm. mm. Frank bought a mango for $3 at the 99 cent store. That's that's our that's 2024 in a nutshell. <laughs> that's 2024 in a nutshell, bro. Tracy, best state to live in when it comes to income and low crime? I'm sure there's a steady. It'll probably be somewhere like Idaho or something. I'm sure if you Google that, there's a steady. Actually, I'm a um, what do you say? Best state. Income and crime. Let's see. Uh, I don't know if they have them. Let's see. This is best state to relocate. New Hampshire. New Hampshire is 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 listed as the best state to relocate. Um, so I'm sure they factored in all that stuff. Um, the average salary is 74000 percent higher than the national average. Uh, New Hampshire also has the lowest crime rate. I did not know that. So New Hampshire, looking good. New Hampshire, I'll tell you, they got this stuff. A lot of this stuff they already done. You just have to Google it. So, yeah, New Hampshire. Uh, James, I'm not in any combat sports, no. Big B, Brian in the house. Yeah, mommy. I mean, yeah, that it, it's bad things are gonna happen no matter what. So like all we can do is action. Action to try to keep things from happening. Okay, but just worrying about it, like I said, if we could worry away our problems, we wouldn't have any problems because we all worry. So like I get worrying is like natural, but we just don't have to continue to do it, you know, because it doesn't work. Oh, yeah, Robert, they, they changed the definition of, of what a recession. They change all this stuff. They change the definition of a lot of this, this, this financial stuff 
to to cook the number. You know what I mean? Like when they're putting out these reports, they'll just change stuff around. You know, one through three. I appreciate that. How you doing? Hey, retired 2019. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Super Chat Squad. So Tim, I intend to worry about things that I cannot control. Thanks for showing me that worrying does not help in the long run. Hey, you're welcome. Thank you for the love. I mean, yeah, I mean, it's easy to do. It's, and, and especially when everybody else around us worries. You know, and, and, and a lot of times we've just never thought about it. So sometimes if someone just mentions, that's why I like talking about it. Because it's one of those things that when you think about it, you're like, that's a good point. And, the, and it's something to think about in the midst of like a worry week. <laughs> you know what I mean? You know, there'll be something you're worried about. And every time you turn around, you're worried about it. And sometimes it's good to just be like, wait a second, this is not helpful. You know what I mean? I'm still going to go through what I'm going to go through, but I don't need to worry about it. Stress myself out, bro. Like, don't do what it's going to do. You know, sometimes we just need to get that out, you know? Um, thank you again, Retired 2019, for the continued support. Thank you. Is that math right, Drew? The average Super Bowl ticket is 8,000. Allegiant Stadium has a capacity of 65,000. Do the math. That's 520 million? Really? Oh, it might be. That doesn't include concessions, parking, or hotel. Yeah, that's crazy, man. Yeah, I mean, it's big money, man. It's big money. My favorite place to be, Patria? I, I, I wouldn't say I have a favorite place. Um, I just be places, you know? But yeah, I don't think I have a favorite place. Chantel, you done with the Southeast humidity? That's, yeah, part of it. Um, I, I don't know. Hey, hey. I'm going to leave that one alone, all about business. Toby, I, I don't sit around and think about how much money I would have had if I hadn't blown it on alcohol, because that's what I wanted to do at the time. So I'm not mad at it. You know what I mean? Some people get sober and then they are mad. at. I'm not mad at it. Like, that's what I wanted to do. So what would I have spent the money on otherwise? You know what I mean? Like it's what I like. It literally is what I want to do. You know. Like, <coughs> excuse me. If somebody robbed you, it's like, man, I wish I had that money because <coughs> I didn't get to spend it. But I'm like, I can't be mad. <coughs> excuse me. That I got to spend it the way I wanted to spend it. That's the way I look at it. It doesn't bother me. You know. I don't know why I'm coughing so much. Hang on one one second, folks. <coughs> Something go down the wrong pipe. Uh, okay. Uh, Dex, I, I, I like Bitcoin. Um, I don't think, you know, Bitcoin is Christ come back like a lot of people do. But I, I like Bitcoin. Um, I think if you if I was to put on my Nostradamus cap, I'll say they'll give it another run and it'll make a ton of money and then they'll regulate it. <laughs> they'll regulate the crap out of it. <clears throat> That's, yeah, my thoughts are big one. I know it's great you work from home. Okay. Sebastian sipping a little water, watching the rain. Perfection. That Galdina, I, I, yeah, any, anybody who lives in California, I'm like, how do y'all do it? You know what I mean? Because I could, I could see you want to leave out of there. Which a lot of Californians are moving, you know. I know that's a, that's a, sensitive topic around the, the country, Californians, but, you know, I ain't, I ain't mad at them for trying to find a better spot. But I understand, you know, why sometimes people have a problem with them coming to their state, but, you know, hey, it's all America. It's all America. Uh, 
Mir is only watching halftime. Oh, Wendy, I, I, I haven't been thinking a lot lately about the book. Like, it's on the list. It's just, I've been thinking a lot about that lately. I yeah, actually did some writing the other day, just like free writing. Not journaling kind of free writing, but like writing. Um, it came out okay, you know, you know. AK says, everyone wishes that they could just chill, go travel and relax. We all need to work to get money. And, and that is one of the things that keeps me up at night is like, why did we create this society where we all have to work to make this thing called money just to survive? And then now it's got to the point where even if you do that, it's still hard to survive. So what are we doing here? You know, it's just like, what are we doing here? If everybody just wants to like enjoy life, why don't we create a society where you work a little bit and then you enjoy life? Why have we created a society where you literally have to work till the day you die and still not might, you know, may not make it, you know, still not be afloat the whole time. You know, it's crazy. I don't know. You know, I think about that a lot. Yeah. I wonder how many people are going to lose money on the Super Bowl today. That's why I was like, I'm not betting. Like, not that I like, I don't see betting as a sin or wrong. But I'm just like, why even do it when I don't care? You know, why even get involved in it when I don't care? Like, you know. Uh, I, I, I think the 49ers will win. That's what I picked. That's what I was going to bet on. But then I was like, I'm not going to play their game. I'm not going to bet. Hey, Brian, 16 months alcohol free on the 29th. Congratulations. Congratulations. Let's go. Simon said, hey, better without watching sports and acting crazy and, you know. I'm watching me like, yeah, I'm, 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 I like the fact that I like just how, like, some people like, like, I don't celebrate Christmas, but I like the fact that, like, there is a Christmas for the people who like it. Same with the Super Bowl. I'm not watching it. But I like the fact that it's there for the people who like it. You know what I mean? Kind of like I'll be when the Final Four rolls around. Sweet 16 Final Four championship game. I'll be over the moon. I'm sure some people won't, but like it does it for me. So like the Super Bowl doesn't do it for me, but some people like it. So, you know, I'm not going to demonize the Super Bowl. I'm just mad about the ticket prices. Uh, no. But um, I mean, yeah, I'm happy for the people who enjoy it. Uh, F doctor, I, yeah, I would visit Texas. Yeah. Memphis in the building, Allison, what up, what up, what up? I'm sure in the comments going through, going through, getting caught up, getting caught up. Carla, how you doing? Savannah checking in. Tia, OKC in the house. Yeah, I was actually doing some research on like the most walkable cities the other day. Um, I don't know. I feel like there is. There's a lot of the country I haven't spent time in. So I'm like, I want, especially with summer coming back around, depending on what I end up doing. But I'm like, I want to learn you know like i didn't know that you know was that new hampshire has the lowest crime you know good to know you know start looking more into stuff like that before i go places sunday don't want to watch want to see that usher concert okay <laughs> exactly, Robert. So many things that when you when you propose them, people are like, but what would that do to the economy? Like people are like, minimalism is bad for the economy. And I'm always like, well, why did we create an economy where we have to just keep mindlessly consuming? We have to keep going into debt. If we stop going into debt, the economy crashes. Like that had like what like that's not sustainable. So just infinite debt for how like you can't do that forever. 
You know, it's crazy. It's crazy. Grass, happy Sunday. <laughs> Clive Max is a greeting from a non-watcher in Virginia. I like that. I like that. Abraham on that lunch break. Yeah, Robert, that is that is that is capitalism. Um, and I think we're experiencing capitalism out of control. You know, I feel like we're experiencing capitalism accelerated. You know, or maybe that's always the end of capitalism, but like it's just it's funny to me that people think that people argue for it. Cause you can be like, well, that's capitalism. People are like, yep, that doesn't mean it's right. I'm not saying it's wrong, but I'm like, I think we can point out the flaws and be like, well, this doesn't seem like it's sustainable, especially the way it is now. And, you know, people argue, well, you're, but it's like, bro, it's just not sustainable. I don't know. Do you, you think the economy will be up for a moment? Because what, you think people will be getting their money back for taxes? I think that money gone. <laughs> I don't know. I hope. I hope. I want the economy to be up. I hope people get some checks. Let's go, you know. I hope. Is the AI robots going to replace the need for humans? Uh, there's not really a need for humans now. Who needs humans? Like, if you think about the earth, it doesn't need us now. But I guess we, like, we don't really even need other humans. I say that to say we're going to keep having humans and keep using humans for something. Um, because we don't really need more humans now. We just do it. Right? People have kids. They don't need to. So I don't, you know, we'll, we'll, I think we'll, the numbers are down, but I think they'll eventually balance out or go back up. And it'll be for the same reason we've always had kids because we always have kids in the number, you know, there's really no need for humans. We're just, it's just something we do as we keep populating, you know. Hey, Mitchell, 42 days sober. Congratulations. Congratulations. Um, and, and I feel you about, doing things and then they affect our personal appearance um and it, and it's it's easy for like that to get to us you know i think we all at some point look in the mirror and don't always like what we see uh and even if it's like i know ooh, this is just my physical appearance it's the it's the real me that matters if you look in the mirror you don't like what you see you still don't like it no matter how much you how you know deep and enlightened you get with it you still sometimes walk past the mirror and be like, ugh. But my reasoning is like, I think about this way. Even though I do try to do the deep enlightenment stuff, you know, um, this is just a body. I mean, it's not me. But I'm also like, I don't have to like it. The people who are attracted to it have to like it. And there will be some people who are still attracted to you. You're young. You're 31. You probably still look great. You may look great to you. But someone who walks up and just sees you is like, oh, hmm. They're not like, well, hadn't been doing all that heavy drink and look even better. You know, they just see what they see. And if they like it, they like it. I don't have to like it. You know, you don't have to like it. Other people will. You know, and I, and I think once again, if we beat ourselves up for things we did in the past, that's that's like we don't know. You know, honestly, you know, I was like, man, if I hadn't drank that much, so and so wouldn't happen. I don't know that. You might have never drank a day in your life and looked the same. Now, you know what I mean? So like it's 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 almost pointless to think about what if, especially when it comes to drinking, addiction, things like that. What if like it's it's a it's a never ending thought. So why even entertain it? You know, it's a never ending thought and that is set is bad the whole time, it's negative the whole time. If only this, if only that, if only that. You never get to a place where you're like, if only, okay, you know, it's always it's just a, a perpetually negative thought. So that's why I try to just like cut that thought off. This is how I look now. These are the, this is my life now. Let's deal with it. Cause we can spend all our energy thinking about what if in the past, or we can spend our energy thinking about like what is in the future. You know, this is where I'm at now. This is how I look. What are we going to do about, you know, boom, you know.
And I honestly, about AI, I don't think AI, like, we're, we're starting with a premise that, I don't know if it, like, we're starting with the premise that AI could get out of control because we've seen it in movies. But can AI even get out of control? You know what I mean? Maybe it can't, but it's just, you know, it's, it's, it's one of those premises that we're like, oh, it can, it will, but like, humans will use AI in negative ways, yes, but it'll, I think it'll always be a human. If AI gets out of control, there will be a human controlling it. You know, humans will use, like everything else, we use it for good, and there's a small sub subset of people use it for bad. If AI ever gets out of control, it'll be a human behind it, I promise you. It will be a human behind it. Queen Butterfly not watching? Okay, okay. Hey, Chantel, I used to be that way. I used to hate looking in mirrors. I used to hate looking at mirrors. Now I'm kind of like, eh. In different mirrors, you look different in. That's what's so funny about it. Sometimes I'll be in like Airbnb somewhere. I'm like, well, I look good in this boy. Other ones, I'm like, oof. I ain't going to stay here long. This, <laughs> this mirror is killing me. I always wonder, like, I bet our ancestors, before we had mirrors, I bet their self-esteem was probably higher than ours on some level. When you had to look in the creek to see what you look like, I feel like you didn't care as much. You know what I mean? You couldn't see. You just, you know, did what you did, went out and faced the day. Once we could start looking in mirrors, we got, you know, really, then I think it's, things changed, you know? Hey, Brian, love each and every one. Love you, too. Thank you. Thank you. Course garage, your course e course guard. You always do your taxes on Super Bowl evening. That's actually pretty good. That's actually pretty good. I like that. I like that. Yeah, that way you do it around the same time every year. Ah, that makes sense. That makes sense. Thank you, Jar. Uh, Bryson, I I don't think Crazy Car Lady goes live on another channel. Last time I talked to her, she said she was staying off the internet, um, or at least like going live. So she's still. She'll come in here sometimes. But I, last time I talked to her, she wasn't live streaming again. She, I, I don't know if that's changed, but last time I talked to her, she was just like, there was because she gets a lot of hate and trolls and yeah. What up, self work? Introvert Rockstar checking in. How you doing? How you doing? We in here. So indifferent. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Blessed. Can't complain. Can't complain. I feel like there were beauty standards in the past, but different if there were no mirrors. You know what I mean? Because someone, you could have someone like tell you like, oh, put this on, try this. But like, you could never see it as clear as we can see it. So while there's always been beauty standards with all cultures, I think they were different than they are now where you can spend hours in the mirror trying to fix yourself. You know what I mean? It like, or like we're talking about, say you were self-conscious about something with your parents. You never saw it. There's no mirrors. You wouldn't even think about it like we do because we pass mirrors and glass constantly. So that's what I'm saying. I think, it, I think it, I'm not saying people didn't have beauty standards. But I just, it had to be different, you know? Thank 
That's a good point, Blossom. I wonder if the, hmm. I'm sure they know the right mirror to put in the fitting room to make you buy. So I wonder which direction they make them in. Do they want you to look best in the mirror? Or do they want you to, but different body types look different in different mirrors. So, hmm. Interesting. That's a good question. Like, what mirror do they put in the fitting rooms to try to entice you to buy? Because they're not going to leave that up. To, I promise you, if they know they can put a certain type of mirror and there's 3% more sales, they will put that mirror in there. Interesting. I wonder about that. These are the things I sit and think about. Katar, what's up? <laughs> Jim said, happy, you know, what, I know what a football looks like. Hey, thank you for saying that, Queen. I mean, you know what's funny? You can know you're not ugly, but still struggle with your self-esteem about your appearance. You can know you're not ugly, but still not like what you see in the mirror. It's I tell you, the mind is incredible. Sometimes I wish it wasn't so incredible in, in the areas like that. But like you can know, like, you know, I know I'm decent but still not see it. That's why I said, like, I had to get to the point where I was like, I don't need to see it. Tim, if you're brushing your teeth, if you're combing your hair, if you're whatever, whatever, that's enough. You don't need to see it. It's not for you. You know what I mean? If other people find you attractive, cool. And you know some do. So, like, why are you obsessing about this? It's not for you. <laughs> it, it ain't for you. They might, Maryland, they might be watching behind the mirrors. I'm a, People ask me all the time, they'll be like, how do you stay at Airbnbs and all these hotels? Aren't you scared of cameras or people watching behind the mirrors? I'm like, I just assume someone's always watching. I just assume every Airbnb I'm in has cameras. I assume every hotel I'm in has cameras or someone watching. It's a two-way mirror or whatever. I just assume I'm always being watched. That way, I'm just not scared. I just assume there's no privacy. They're listening everything on your phone. They're tap. They're, they're everything you punch in. Everything you've typed in, they know. There's no. Pri I just assume there's no privacy. And if if it's something I just don't want nobody to know about, I just don't. Or I don't want nobody to see. I just don't do it. I just assume there's no privacy because there isn't. I mean, there is some, but there isn't. They can see anything they want to see. They can tap in anything they want to tap into. So I just assume they they watch in and tapped in all the time. Just because you look at it in incognito mode, they still know what you're looking at. They can hear through your phone. That I firmly believe. I know that for a fact. They can hear every single conversation you're having. All the time. Someone's going to say, who's they? I don't know. Somebody. So that's, yeah, I, I just assume someone's always watching. And like, honestly, once you get over, and I think it's different for different people, but like once you get over the fear of like, oh, someone might see me naked, there's really nothing you have to worry about someone watching you. I mean, it might be creepy, but like, if are they that bored? And maybe it's different for women um, or really hot guys. But I'm like, are they that, like someone would be that bored? Like, what are they going to do? Film me like showering and put on the internet who would care like i don't know <laughs> guitarist said, as a brit i have the game on out of morbid curiosity i haven't got a clue what's going on <laughs> i feel you i feel you that's how we feel when we watch cricket we'll be like what is happening what when we watch cricket, we're like, what is going on? Like, I don't understand. Like, who is what? That's a strike. No, we don't know. We don't know. We don't know. We don't know. Exactly, Drew. Talk about try this with your friends. Try this with your friends. Y'all think I'm joking. Some of y'all think I'm joking. Come up with something 
just say, hey, I'm going I'm to do an experiment. And you, because if you talk about it or run the experiment, you just say, you in your head, pick a topic, pick a product you've never talked about before. And you say, hey, I want to try something for the next five minutes. Let's talk about Fiji water. And then you and your friends sit around and talk about Fiji water. I prom or some type of product that or something y'all never talk about. I promise you it will pop up on all y'all's phones the next day. You think I'm joking? I'm telling you, I've done it so many times. I'll sit around talking about something, something I never talked about before. Because it's stuff that I'm like, oh man, I hadn't heard about that. It popped up on my phone the next day, either on YouTube or an ad. I'm telling you, they, it, they're always listening. Which I'm like, yeah, don't bother me. You know, I, I don't say nothing. Alvin Anthony, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Supercat Squad, thank you. Uh, let me give you a like on that. Say, hey, Tim, get ready for work. Try not to get any women pregnant. <laughs> hey, it's funny. I'm, I'm just trying to figure out what your, what your pre-work routine entails. I feel like, man, I'm trying to get ready for work, but I got to be able it, or are those things separate or are you doing both of those simultaneously? Um, Alvin, thank you, thank you, thank you. Super Chat Squad, I appreciate that. Um, good luck with work. Good luck with not getting nobody prego. You know what I mean? You know, be careful in them streets. Be careful in them streets. Uh, Blake, yeah, hotels can't legally install cameras in private rooms. But that doesn't stop the peeping Tom maintenance guy from doing it. You know, nobody can legally like put cameras in places they rent out. But like that doesn't stop the, you know, you know, somebody just putting a little camera behind something, you know. Yeah, it's definitely illegal, but that doesn't when did the law stop people? <laughs> When did the law stop criminals, you know? Oh, guitar, you don't understand cricket either? Oh, good, we in the same boat then. I don't feel like an ignorant American as much. Oh, Brian, yeah, this, this, no, I'm not worried about an AI takeover, but I know AI is gonna, is gonna be used in some interesting ways that I don't think the average person is realizing. You know, people are worried about AI getting sentient and taking over the world. What they need to be worried about is when AI, someone uses AI to call your grandmother and it sounds like you. And they say, hey, grandma, I'm, I'm really in a pinch, blah, 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 blah. Um, can you send me $50 to my cash app? And it will sound just like you. And they will have enough information that they've stolen from your social media are probably hacked into your grandma's stuff that they'll know the stuff to say. Hey, I'm down here and so and so, blah, 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 blah. Remember I said I was going on that, that trip. Um, my car broke down. Can you send me a hundred dollars? And your grandma, who ain't up on, you know, this AI stuff, oh, where you want me to send it, babe? That's the type of stuff we need to be worrying about, not Skynet. But people want to always take it to the extreme. So you know, it'll be interesting. You know, that's I, I already, you know, don't tell my family if, if no, no, don't, don't. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. If I don't use the safe word, it ain't me. <laughs> if I don't say pineapples, it's not me. Like, it, it's funny, but that's the type of stuff we're going to have to come up with. It's going to be more, if I call you, it's not me. Like, we'll have to prove, and I'm just, you know, thinking about where I think this could go. But the day could come where like, you have to prove to somebody is you, because we'll all be getting like fake phone calls or people won't even call no more, you know what I mean? But yeah, that's the type of stuff people will do with AI as opposed to like robots taking over the world, you know? Scammers will get hold of it. Azur, how you doing? Try says sometimes I get asked for things I just be thinking about. Um, what I think that is is I think these cameras are so, especially with AI now, they're so sophisticated that it can extrapolate what you're thinking about from a month's worth of data of what you looked at. I mean, if you think about it, if you have data from millions of people, 
like these social media sites do. It will show you a hundred people thought about this, 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 and this. The next thing, the hundred people searched for or spent time reading or looked at this, 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 and this. It'll give you all these data points. And then it will tell you the next logical thing. This is the type of stuff where it gets deep. When you've got millions and millions and millions of people freely putting their information and their thoughts into a social media network, and you've got camera, you've got, excuse me, computers now that can track all of this. I would imagine it's a simple program to run like extrapolations and figure out, okay, nine, 60% of the time, people who fall in this basket of thinking about these things or searching for these things over the last 60 days, eventually search for this. So even before you get to it, they know you're going there. Or they're it's a possibility because they show us ads all the time for stuff that we're like, I don't want this, but that's probably because it, you fell into the algorithm that you might possibly like that. But it hit when, when it is something that we do end up thinking about it. It's like, how did they know? But it's just, it's all, it's just the computers are so sophisticated now. The more information you give it, the more they can, you know, what was that? What was that? They were saying, this was years ago. They were saying that like target knows you're pregnant before you do because the computers had enough data from what you buy that it could extrapolate like, oh, this person, <laughs> this person's pregnant. Like they, that was a big thing a few years ago. So now they probably definitely know. Between knowing what you buy and having access to everything you search for and talk about, oh, they, they, they know, they know. Mm -hmm. That's deep right there, you know, that they can figure out, oh, this person's probably, you know, yeah, man. Um, Alvin, I didn't have fears when I first started my YouTube channel because to me, it was just like posting on Twitter or posting on Facebook. But I just thought it was videos. So like there was no, to me, there was no concept of being a YouTuber. That wasn't even a, a thing back then. So, I mean, there was nothing to be scared of because I didn't know where it was going to go, which is actually good, you know. Sean Holt, check it in. Mommy, I, I will be honest. There are some times where you do question putting yourself out there so much on YouTube. I, there are times when I do question it, but you know, we're here now. <laughs> and then I think about it, honestly, all of our stuff's out there, you know what I mean? So, but there are days when I'm like, mm. if I could go back, I probably would change something. Some things I would have never talked about. If I could go back, I wouldn't have used my name as the channel name. Like there's a lot of stuff in hindsight. I'm like, nah, I would have done that, but we're here now. So, you know. Yeah, predictive text messages. That's that's just a very basic example of it just predicts what's coming next. And they just can do that with your life, you know. Doubting Thomas, I literally was just watching Purchase of Person of Interest yesterday. Like for real. I was literally just watching Person of Interest yesterday. That's a good show. I like that show. You're being watched. <laughs> Uh, Michael, how did I get started streaming? Uh, one day I, years ago, I just saw that you could live stream on YouTube. And I was like, let me try that out. And I was like, ain't nobody going to tune in. But like it went well. And I was like, all right, let's go. You know, I just feel like I enjoyed it. Mr. G at the golf range. Okay. Praveen, check it in. Yeah, Lisa, that's what the rewards cards are for. They want to know what you're buying. They will gladly give you three cent off grapes. To know that you bought those great. You know what I mean? Like that's what all that stuff is for. They, they, they would not give you discounts. A is to keep you coming back to that store. But B, they want the data. Now, what's, what's going to also end up happening is because we love convenience. We're going to give over control. 
so I can imagine the day when they come to you and they'll 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 say it's a positive. Hey, we we've got blah 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 blah. You don't even have to like go to the store and buy groceries and order. We'll do it for you. Right? They already got all the data. You know. It'll just, hey, you can just put on autopilot. It'll be called like grocery auto. They probably got variations of this already. But like, it'll just be like one free week of grocery autopilot. And everybody will sign up. and You'll get 30% off your groceries for that week. And then you'll just notice it like, hey, I didn't even have to tell them they knew everything I needed. And it's like, never run out of deodorant or whatever again. Never go to the store after work ever again. Like, it'll always just be there. Once a week. You just get your groceries you just, or, you know, stuff you use, you know, it'll be something you say like deodorant. You buy deodorant once every three months or whatever. It'll just know that every three months to send you more deodorant. And like I can envision a world where we get so dependent on that, that we never want to go back. It's like I don't even have to. It just checks to see if I have the money. And if I do, it just orders it for me. Like, why would I ever want to have to remember all this stuff? It just shows up at the house. And my AI companion bot puts it away. No. <laughs> the moon is nice today. Oh, okay. Okay. Lewis didn't even know there was a game. Oh, Nick, you live in O turn with another guy. You're forced to hear the Super Bowl. Oh, well, hey, you know, have fun with it. Uh, Mega DJ, sorry to hear about you. Uh, uh, sorry to hear about the breakup. Sorry to hear about you falling off the wagon. Um, I never went to treatment, no. Um, but if that's something, I always say exhaust every avenue of recovery. So, you know, um, if if that's something you feel like might be beneficial to you, something your therapist might be beneficial, you know, I, I would definitely say look into it. Open minded, look into it. Um, but I, I personally didn't go. Um, yeah. But I didn't have a therapist. If I had a therapist, they probably would like, bro, you need to be in something. Good luck, by the way. Scripture. I, I would love to write a book. Yes. Will I ever do it? I don't know. But I would love to write a book. Yes. Sean gonna be gonna be living as a nomad doing your art. Yes, by the end of the month. Let's go. Let's go. Glad I could I could throw some motivation your way, Sean. Yeah, Drew, even when there's no sale or nothing, you swipe the card just to make sure. Stoners committee stumbled across the stream. Hey, welcome. Yeah, smart fridges already already know. Yeah, and they'll just we give up all kinds of control for convenience. So yeah, because then if you let them do it naturally, that's 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 less resistance. And if it orders it naturally, like they'll get to decide what brand. You know, a lot of times. Oh, well, so, you know, yeah, you can. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah michael it is hard to stream to like know people um but it kind of that's kind of where you have to start um and you might could build an audience that way um i always recommend just having a bunch of topics to talk about and even if nobody's there just talk because some people will come in and if you're just sitting there like they can be like, this, this person ain't even talking. But if you, at least you got something, they might stick around, you know? And I do think YouTube does recommend streams from time to time, so. Well, actually, I think it'll be different from subscriptions because with, the, with a subscription, I got to go in and say, I want this to come every so often. This, I think, they will just set it up for like they want you won't even have to tell it what you want. You know what I mean? I gotta go in now and say, okay, I want my deodorant to come every three months. It'll do that. Cool. This, I don't even think you you won't even have to tell it. It'll just know. 
They don't know what you buy. They don't know how often you buy it. You won't even have to, that'll be the difference. You won't even have to say anything. You'll just say, I'll, I'll sign up for grocery autopilot. And it'll just start coming. You'll never have to tell it anything unless some, unless it sends you something you don't want. And then you can go in there and tweak it. And be, by then you just have to say it. I don't like Colgate. I don't want whatever, whatever. Boom. Like, but you only have to tell it already know. It knows now, you know, I think. Yeah, or like DoorDash or whatever that just you'll just say order dinner. You know, I'll be like, order dinner. And DoorDash knows what I like. And it will bring the most likely order that I want on a Tuesday. And like if and and there's data that like we don't even consciously think about, but say DoorDash was tapped into all my social medias, everything. It all was tapped in together. It would know that when I've had a really good day, I like chicken wings. And when I'm down a little bit, I like pizza. So if I just say order food it, and I had a hard day at work, it's going to send pizza. And I'm just going to be like, oh, man, I, I love this pizza. How did it know? So I, I, I just visit the day where in a lot of these day-to-day -day decisions we make with purchases, it, it'll be taken care of for us, you know. I need a new shirt, and it'll know, you know, send him a Batman shirt, <laughs> you know. Uh, Jay Speck, no, I don't know how to break dance. Not at all, not at all, not at all. Chantel said, no med life is the only way I can afford California. A sentence that, you know, 50 years ago, they would have never thought they'd hear, you know, in America. From someone who's actually like working. Like if someone was like, I don't want to, I don't want to work. But like someone who's actually working to be like, hey, I can't afford it. Unless it's no med life. I work 40 hours a week, but I can only afford to, to I can only afford to live close by my job if I live in my car. Interesting, interesting. A lot of people not watching the game. Cool. We here. This is what we do. Numbers looking good. Wow, the number the, the likes almost match the watch numbers. That rarely happens. Uh retired 2019. Sometimes I get not a lot, but occasionally I get recognized in public. Yeah. Ooh, my last fight. Oof. I'm sure it was a bar fight, Eric. Honestly, I was usually so blackout drunk when that type of stuff happened that I don't remember. Um, I remember some of the bar fights I got into, but I don't really remember the last one. Yeah, Drew, I appreciate you saying that. Thank you. You can't, you can't, you know, the silence people get. Every now and then I'll zone out read the comments, but like you got to keep it. That's the skill, actually. Um, you know, I don't, I, I can't do much in life, but I, I do think I was blessed with the skill to just talk mindlessly. <laughs> What's going dig it? I, I could fill some dead space. Produce, what up? What, you, uh, what happened earlier when I when I shut the stream down? I had to find my piece. I had I had lost my piece, so I had to shut it down and find it. So then I came back. Oh, I agree, Jay. A good way to have an empty bank account, but we will give up all kinds of stuff for convenience. And and it'll be coming from the the the, the places we trust. It's just like auto pay on our bills. We do auto pay on our bills because we trust the bank. We trust whoever's doing the auto pay. It's the same thing. We'll just trust the companies. And for the most part, they probably won't take your money when you don't want them to. You know, in the beginning, yeah, everybody's like, I'm never doing that. But like, then everybody will just do it. As with everything, technologies come out. We're like, I would never do that. And then everybody else around us starts doing it. And then you're like, well, okay, if it worked for them, you know? You know, people's like, I, I'm always going to use checks. I'm never using credit card, debit card. Same, yeah, same thing.
Do I watch AHS? I don't. I don't even. I don't even know what that means. Um, so for, yeah, I probably don't watch that. Oh, Protoss, I block people a lot in my live streams. I got a, like a four hundred some person block list on YouTube. Last time I checked, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Lee at the Cafe Rio. Okay. Okay. Uh, yeah, pros. I mean, there's been plenty of night I woke up, didn't remember the fight, but I had the bruises. Yeah, totally. Many a time. Many a time, uh, you know. Or, or it's like very hazy. You remember bits and pieces. I wait a couple of days, call my boys, like, did we win? They're like, nah, not that one. <laughs> nah, you told it one that time, bro. We got, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Or other times, like, yeah, man, we came through, bro. Um, but, you know, it's just, I was fortunate. I was. Most of my party days, I was in an area where we could just fight and it was done. You may have to, you know, next time you see the person, hey, bro, whatever, whatever, you know, but, or they come up to you, you know, respect, you know, but yeah, you know, that's, that just goes with it. Mm -hmm. Michael Anthony stopped watching pro sports a, a decade ago. Okay, okay. And to your point, Eric, I do think as more and more money comes into sports, I think there will be more rigging going on, sadly. I appreciate that produce. Yeah, man. I mean, the thing about the internet is, and that's the thing about live streaming, that like, you open yourself up to anybody to be able to say anything to you. And even on 99% of the time, that 1%, something will hit you and like, yeah, throw you off your kilter. So yeah. Oh yeah, Michael, I can talk. Six hours and 30 minutes is the record, right? Yeah, my, right, that's the record now? Six hours, 30 minutes, I think? What up, Queen? Uh, I'm it. I don't know. I don't know. If you feel like crap during the winter months, but thoroughly enjoy the summers, it could just be the, the months. It might not be the weather, you know? Yeah, Miss Taffy. I, I, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I cut the stream myself. I appreciate you being work. I'm, I'm good. We good. That's why I came back. But, um, yeah, man, I had to, you know, get zen again. I usually block people because they're talking crazy. Yeah, people get crazy. Be saying, you know, they're trolling or they're saying crazy stuff. Stretch, you had an ex coworker who would call the bank to check his balance daily to make sure they weren't taking his money. Oof, that you tell us an old story. Call the bank? Try to call the bank now. They'd be like, bro, get on your app. <laughs> I literally had a bank tell, tell me that before. I was trying to do something. They're like, well, you got to do that on the app. And I'm like, but I got you on the phone. And they're like, nah, you got to do it on the app. I'm like, just put it, you know what I mean? Like, just do it. They're like, no, you got to do it on the app. I was like, okay, not using y'all no more. Oh, Angela with the, with the Zappy Zap. Okay, I see you, Angela. Caesar, thank you. Thank you. Mud, I have seen They Live. It's a great movie. Well, actually, one of the best fight scenes in cinematic history. But beyond that, it's a really good movie. Yeah, they live a good movie. I'm surprised it doesn't have a bigger like cult following than it does. Hey, Lao Tu, congratulations, 600 days sober. Let's go, let's go. And you're welcome, you're welcome. That's awesome. Uh, retired from 19, yes, some of them. Um. Like a lot of the guys I did a lot of my partying with, like those are my boys, like, you know, so we don't keep in contact as much as we used to, obviously, but like I still once or twice a year, some of them every couple, you know, like recently we all got together. We all, uh, I talked with a bunch of them because one of our friends passed, sadly. So everybody called and we talked and, you know, but I, usually most of them once a year twice a year, you know what I mean? Like we'll, we'll call and talk and catch up with each other. Um, and next time I go down there, I got to get up with them. But like the dudes I really party the most, but those are my guys. So like 
they always gonna be my boys. You know, I had a real good close set of friends. Um, and we're grown now, so most of us have kind of half of us have kind of you know changed it up. But you know, I, you know, yeah, those are my those are my guys. I love them boys of that. Andrew said, Tim, love your content. Womb to tomb. Thank you. Thank you. And you're right. Womb to tomb. That's all we got to do. That's all we got to do. You know? It's not much. I was thinking about that today. I was like, I don't really have anything to do. It's very freeing. Like, I don't have nothing to do. There's a couple of things I want to do, but I don't have nothing to do. Like, You know, I feel like we spend so much of our life like, oh, I need you to do this. I need you to do that. I need you to do that. And I'm talking about like outside the things we have to do to survive. But so often, oh, I need you to do this. I'm like, I don't really have nothing I need to do. You know? There's not really a lot of metrics for success I feel like I need to hit. Or I'm like, I don't, you know. Tell the truth says, when you find yourself in your head, Tim, or just thinking about things that don't really matter, what do you do personally to come back present in the moment? Um, Walking helps me a lot. When I can get out in nature, that helps a lot. Um, Sometimes just like sitting with it and working through it in my head. Like, wait a second, bro. Like we, you know, we, we getting off the rails here. I might watch something that calms me down, you know, softball. I've noticed is really good for calming me down. Like the big part of thing is identifying it and then figuring out something that works to, to bring us back to the present. Um, because like it's the stopping it. That's the thing. So stopping it and then doing something different. And I think the doing something different varies for all of us, but like stopping the thought, cause it'll just be, and that's what gets you, you know, but man, I've been thinking about the same thing all week where I'm going crazy. If you can just stop thinking about it, get your mind on something else, whatever that is, I think that's helpful. Because yeah, other than that, you just, it, it gets crazy. Hey, retired 2019. Thank you, thank you, thank you. It's a Tim Super Bowl live stream. Yes, we're here. We are here. And the numbers look good, man. I appreciate y'all being here. Appreciate that abundance, retired 2019. Thank you, thank you. We're here. Bark and Bear checking in. Someone in the mid to late twenties, mile, um, my May, May. Uh, a, you're not old. We gotta start there. You're not old. You're you're 27. You got 70 more years. You're not old. Um, you don't need to have life figured out right now. You do not need to have life figured. I know you look around and it looks like some of your friends already got life figured out. They don't. They may be further along on certain paths, but that may not be the path you want to be on. And that leads to my next bit of advice is to take the time, especially while you're young. If you can do this, if you can do this, I promise you, your life, you will look back. 37, 47, 57 year old you will be so happy you did this. If you can take the time now and identify like, what do I really want to do with this life? What direction do I want my life to go in? Because it will change throughout life. But what direction? do I want to go in? Like, what are the things I really want to do now? Not what is everybody else telling me to, to do? What is everybody else saying I need to do? Like, what do I want to do? And then if you can have the courage to go after that stuff, to point your life in that direction, use your mental faculties to figure out how to make that work, I promise you in the future, you'll be so happy you did it. And a lot of the people that you look at now that seem like they're ahead of you possibly or got life figured out, you'll be the person they secretly look at and be like, dang, I wish when I was 30, I had done so-and-so like they, you know what I mean? So that's, that's my advice. Um, like really think about like what you want to do and realize you can do whatever you want. There's no rules. You can do whatever you want. Even if nobody else gets it, they're not supposed to get it. It's not their life. It's not their dream. But like really take the time and be like, Stuff like if I could do anything, what would I be doing? And I know a lot of times we 
stop ourselves from thinking along those lines because we're like, but I got to work, but I got to do this. And while that may be true, it doesn't always have to be true. But if you don't even open up to the possibility that you could eventually do different things or that you could start over or take your life down another path, if you don't open yourself up to like even thinking is possible, you'll never do it. And I think it starts with being like, all right, what would I like to do? Like, what do I want my life to look like 10 years from now? Okay, how do I get there? And then start heading in those directions. Like I said, I promise you, you will look back and be so happy you did that. As opposed to a lot of people who look back and nothing has changed. You know, that's why you see like midlife crises. Now people are having quarter life crises. I get it. People at like 32, you know, at 32, you've been working these days 12 years. People at 32, 33 are looking at their life like, what am I doing? Like, I'm supposed to do this another 30 years? But like when you've when you've made moves and steered your life in a certain direction, even if it doesn't work out exactly how you thought it would, you know why you did what you did. I think a lot of people these days don't know why they're, you know, you hear people like, what am, what am I doing? Like, why? But when you're intentionally steering your life in certain directions, even if it doesn't always work out the way you want it to, you know why you're doing it. And there's even something for that. But I think, sadly, a lot of people just go along and do what everybody else is doing, whatever I told them to do. And that's just really not a recipe for enjoying your life long term. Hope that helped. So I'm behind in these comments. I got to get caught up. I got to get caught these comments. Where we at? <laughs> Cats, it's hard to imagine something I care less about the Super Bowl. Oh, that's that's heavy. Hey, M. I figured out about a year a year ago I wasn't doing what I wanted to. 2024, I'm focused more on me and my income streams. Focus on that and family. Yes, yes, yes. Still more time to screw up and start over. Facts, you know, just if you're young, you 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 can start down a path and be like, nah, this ain't it. Jump to another one. You're still young. Some people wait until like 50 and they're like, man, which still you can do that. Nothing wrong with that. I was 35. So like, you know, but you it's never too late. But it's better the earlier you start. Yeah, I mean, th 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 that's a good crossroads. Do I need to go back to uni? I want to take a break, connect myself more. I feel like if you're asking yourself, do I want to take a break and connect more with yourself more? There's probably something prompting that, you know? <laughs> Andrew said, Tim, my co-worker asked me, Andrew, uh, you're so calm. Um, I said, Ward University, student loan free. We here, we here, we here. No, 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 no fee, no tuitions. The halftime show's getting crazy. Uh oh, uh oh. I have to watch it later. No, nah, I don't like Usher. I'm not going to watch it. I watch the commercials. Tell the truth, facts. Like that, like that. I took opportunity to go play football at college, major in psychology. Do yes, do it, do it. Uh, Gary, I do want to come to the to the UK one day. I'm not sure when when I'll be able to get that goal to materialize. Uh, honestly, I'm really waiting for someone to go with. Like being being if I'm if I'm being totally honest. I already have a voucher for British Airways to get to pay for my flight to Europe. I'm just waiting for because I booked it once and canceled it. So I have the voucher, I, which I actually got to use before it runs out. But I'm just waiting for someone to go with. Yeah, so glad you reminded me of that I got to use that eventually. But um, yeah, I already had like so I only have to pay for the flight. I just need someone to go with. So, yeah. 
Because I'm not I'm not trying to travel overseas alone again. Man, I'm good. I'm good. Yeah, I gotta get to London. I gotta get to London. So and the other, you know, but definitely London. Even if I just have to go to like London and like do the rest of Europe another time, I gotta get to London. It's on the list. Oh no, Uber. Uh, uh ooh. Um there's an expiration date on the voucher. Yes. Yes. So I gotta use it before it expires. I'm not sure the exact date, um, but yeah, I know there's an expiration date. <clears throat> Key Largo in the building, Chris Lambert, what up? Um, Chris 580, I appreciate the offer. Um, I'm probably gonna, like, I need to go with somebody I know. Um, and it'll probably be a female too, but yeah. Need to go with somebody like I know, no, you know what I mean? I'm like, why am I hearing people? I think the neighbors are having a Super Bowl party. This is, a, this is a very quiet Airbnb. So I'm like, why am I hearing people? And then I just thought, do I have? Yeah, I do have. I got. I keep forgetting I, how much food, what food I got to eat. I'm like, I got enough food to eat. <laughs> Muds and Tim overheard a conversation at work one time that went like this. I got 20 more years here. I thought to myself, what is this, a prison? It's funny, like, you know, th that... And I get it, you know, you work hard, you know, you work towards your retirement. I totally understand. But it is funny, like, that's the, it's like, man, I just got to do these 10 more. I'm up out of here. I don't know. It's just weird. Yeah, it's a weird thing to hear someone say. Those are the things I stop and, like, think about. It's like, wow, this is the world. That's what I'm saying, like, when, the, when society doesn't seem real to me, I'll hear a conversation like that. And I'll just be sitting there like, this is what we're doing? Working 10 more years at a job we hate for our retirement. Like, I'm not knocking it at all. I'm just saying, like, this is that's normal. That's a normal conversation. Everybody would get that. Most people, I should say, would get that. That makes sense. Like that, that's that makes sense. Make it make sense. Uh Fisky said, How long would you wait to go if a woman doesn't show? Um, well, probably right before the voucher expires. Yeah. But we're gonna we're gonna make sure that doesn't happen. Then again, I know me. I can see myself just not going. I know me. The money's already spent, so like it's not like I'm losing money if I don't use it. I can see me if if I was in the whatever it depends on the mood. If I'm like really like whatever, all right, I'm gonna go by myself. But I I know me. I can see me being like I just ain't doing it. Screw it. If I got some other stuff going on, and it'd be like you know I'd be like mm, whatever. I know me. I know me. I mean, nothing changes for me money wise if I go or not. Like, I already paid the money. So I'm not going to lose any money if I don't go. The money's already gone. Pe most people look at it as like, oh, you'll lose that money if you don't use it. I've already given the money. So, like, I'm hoping I get to use it, but I know me. I might do it. I ain't doing it. British Airways got me. <laughs> they, they got free money from. I'll get it back. It's, it's an abundant universe. It can it can reimburse me for a ticket to Europe. I promise you. Don't get me started on four hundred one k's. Oh, people all well, man, people disagree with me so much about four hundred one k's, which I'll admit I don't know a ton about them, but they just don't make sense to me. But people, it don't make sense to me why people swear by them. Uh, Lee, I'm I'm. Work. I, I'm. I'm not always positive, but I feel like I'm as positive as I am just from working to be positive. Like it's work. Like constantly reminding myself, be positive. Be positive. Don't wallow in the negativity. Be positive. And then it's like being around positive people. When you talk about positivity as much as I do, you kind of have to be positive because you know I got to practice what I'm preaching. So you know, just repetition. I think of positivity. What up, South Paul? What up, John D? Yeah, Kat, you know, respect. Like, I, I give people props who stay somewhere for a long time. I, I couldn't do it. So, yeah, it is kind of like, hmm. I remember I was working for a temp agency, and they sent me to the Nordstrom 
distribution center. And when they were showing me around, um, cause they kind of, after, after, after I worked there for a little bit, they kind of, they, they showed me this when that, when I first got there, but as I worked, they saw I was a good worker. They, they were kind of like impressed me. So I would stay longer term. Um, and they kept showing me these ladies and like, she's been here 15 years. She's been here 20 years. She's been here 10 years. And I'd always be like, Ugh. and they were like, I'll never forget. Like they were like the ladies who put hangers in a box. That was what they did like all day long. And that's not pooping on them. I'm just saying that picture of like, this is what you're offering me up as incentive is like, if you stay here 12 years, you too can put hangers in boxes for 12 hours, you know, eight hours a day. You know, I was just like, and they didn't look all that happy. You know, sometimes someone's like, oh, this person's been here 20 years and they're the happiest person. Oh, I love. they just were kind of like, mm, hanger in the box, the hanger in the box. And I was like, that's what you, I'm like, bro, like, no, I can't respect them doing it, you know? But I was like, I can't, I know I can't, bro. I can't. I can't. Once again, I'm not pooping on 401ks. I, I just, my, honestly, my whole thing is, I think a lot of times we just assume that's the best retirement savings because that's all that's offered. And I just think it's possible to do it differently. That's my whole thing with 401ks, honestly, is like make sure it's a good one and make sure it's worth it and make sure it's the investment vehicle you want to put your money into. But I think a lot of times people say, oh, I get the job. I take the 401k without any thought to it. The average product. As someone who's worked many jobs, you know what I mean? Been through many orientations and 401k signups or declines. Most people just go along with it. Like very few people ask any questions, you know what I mean? From what I've seen. Definitely not saying it's a bad thing, but I'm just saying like, you know, me, I ask questions. Is Bumble a good way to meet women? I mean, it can be, but in Salt Lake City it is. Because they're all ethically non-monogamous. Ian 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 M. J J G, what up? Retired 2019, stayed at one place 28 years, haven't worked since. Props, props. Like I said, I, I props to someone who can do that. I'm not crapping on anyone doing it. I just know I couldn't do it. You know what I mean? I'll, I'll be honest. I'll be honest. Sometimes I'm like, what if I was a different person and, and I wasn't the type who had to be doing all this stuff I'm doing? I wonder what I would have in life if I was the type of person who could have just stayed at a job forever. Like if I'd started a job at 20 and I was still there now. I wonder about this. What would my life look like? I'm just curious. Pops, I see you. Just got off work, not watching the game. I see you. I see you. I didn't figure That's why I called you earlier, because I figured you wouldn't be tapped into to, to any any uh, Super Bowl stuff. Um, good to see you. Oh, Bumble's a, a dating app. Um, it's a dating app, which it's a little more highbrow than Tinder from what I've seen. I feel like there's, there's uh, women my age are on there heavy. A lot of them are like, I don't want to do Tinder. But Bumble's a little more sophisticated, if you will. Um, but, yeah, I mean, it's the same game. It's the same game in a different dress. You know what I mean? Like, it's, you know. Minnie, how you doing? Rup Troll, making good money off Super Bowl food orders. Nice. Uh, Brenda, I'm, I'm no longer saying where I'm at day to day. Um, yeah, it's, it's funny, even after 10 years of doing this internet thing, you know, just more stuff. I'm like, yeah, probably going to pull back on that. Um, you know, so that's one of the things I'm going to pull back on. Um, sadly, I would love to be able to always, Hey, this is where I'm at, but you know, somebody always messes it up for the whole class. Uh, JG, when I first started on YouTube, there wasn't a concept of the YouTube channel like it is now. Like, I honestly thought it was almost like a, a social media platform like Facebook or something with just video. 
you know, I was like, oh, I'll just post some video. You know, like, there was no concept of like being a YouTuber when I started. So it wasn't, I had no plan. You know, it'd be like, why did you post on Instagram for the first time? It looked cool. You know what I mean? So yeah, I had no really plan. Um, it just happened. And I liked it. So I kept doing it. Um, and then one day YouTube was like, they sent an email. I was like, hey, you want to be in the partner program? I was like, I ain't doing this. You got to fill out this paperwork. I was like, I ain't doing this too much. Now, something inside of me might have been God because it has been changed my life completely. But something inside of me was like, Tim, just sign up for the partner program. It'll take like 10 minutes, bro. Like, and I did. And like after that, oh, when, when, that, when that first Google check came, bro, I was like, okay. I mean, it was $100 or whatever. But like, I was like, oh, this is real money, money. You know? Yeah. So, yeah. Produce, uh, E and M is ethically non-monogamous. I had to find this out. So a lot of the women in Salt Lake City, that that's what they put on their dating profiles. Like I'm, e, which basically means they're married but can mess around, which makes sense if you realize the prevailing religion in the area. Um, but it's like if I was, you know, that that doesn't really work for me because I'm not trying to meet a woman who's already married with kids and stuff. But if I was in my 20s, bruh, if I was still him, you couldn't tear me away from Salt Lake City. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. There's an elephant that can paint self portraits. No, I've never seen that. Would I say where I was visiting when I leave the area? Um, Maybe. I feel like I'd rather just not make it an issue, a talking point anymore. Like, if like if I end up in Europe, I'll tell you. I'm in Europe, you know, whatever. If I go somewhere, you know, very exciting, I'll say it. But other than that, like day to day, like, I'd, I'd just rather probably not even make it a, a talking point. Um, yeah. Uh, Darwin, I'm on YouTube all the time. Like, I love YouTube. So lately, it just seems like people haven't been putting up as much good content. But yeah, I'm always, yeah, I love YouTube. I'm always on YouTube. I'm, I'm firmly on the YouTube band. Like, love it, love it. Because you learn a lot, you know, it's got people I follow. Um, so yeah, I'm not definitely not just a creator. Like, yeah, I'll be on you. I have to like, some days get myself off YouTube. Like, Tim, you need to do something like in the real world. Just staring at the screen all day long isn't healthy, but yeah, I love you too. Uh, Amir, I do watch sports. Yes. Oh, I imagine there, there's lots of YouTubers who do all kinds of stuff for the views, you know, and, and the check. Yeah. I mean, I mean, it's 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 hard not to. Like, you have to have a, a a really good reason to not try to milk your channel for what it's worth. Like, if you don't care about your audience, why wouldn't you? If it's just a business or a paycheck to you, why wouldn't you? You know, I I don't do it, but like, I'm not mad at them for try like it's it's. Hey, there's money on the table. Most people are gonna take it unless you have a reason not to. I mean, anything can be ethical if it's your ethics, if you decide your ethics. So they don't, it's basically an open relationship, but they're letting you know, like, they're ethically non-monogamous. They're, they're not monogamous because they don't believe in monogamy. That's how you know it's a religious thing, from my understanding, is because they're like, it doesn't always have to be religious, but they're letting you, instead of just being like, I'm an open relationship. Like they're like, I'm ethically not, like I'm not monogamous because I don't believe in monogamy. Because like there'd be pictures of like their husband and their kids right there. Oh yeah, I got three kids. Love my husband. You know, bop, 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 bop. Oh boy, this, this is one of my favorite ones. This is one of my favorite ones. We, 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 like, I like this one so much. I'm going to hold it. 
because this is a troll that people love to do, and it does not bother me the slightest bit. I'm still finna block Leroy here in a second, but I just wanted to show y'all it does not bother me the slightest bit. I'm gonna leave it up. We're gonna give Leroy some shine before I block him. Like, I need a better class of troll. Like, what is, am I supposed to get mad? Like, what, what would happen? Like, what? I don't understand where I'm supposed to go. Be like, oh no, you crazy person. Like, what, bro? Like, I need a better class of troll, man. You know what I mean? I just don't like, I don't, I, I, we're the intellectual trolls. Bro, like you got, uh, oh man. This, this, this is all we get. We got to try harder, Tim. You got to try harder, Tim. <laughs> I do not have YouTube red, no. I have YouTube TV, but I don't have YouTube red. No, I do. I, I'm. I don't follow Mr. Beast, so a lot of people like his content, but I don't. I don't. I don't. Honestly, I don't follow many of the big creators, and that's nothing against them. I just follow, like I follow. That's the beauty of the internet. Is you can follow who you like. So you know, like I've watched a couple of Mr. Beast videos, but it's just not my type of content. So. Uh, IBM. Um, so what if you're not good at businesses? How do you actually quit wage slavery? I, I will admit I'm, I'm, I'm not an expert. You know what I mean? Um, I found a way that worked for me. I, you know, I think that's the, the hard part is, is figuring that out. Um, but I, I think that comes from, you can even put that in Google. How do I quit the rat race if I don't want to start a business? You know what I mean? Like, you know what I mean? So it's like, Understanding, I think it's a combination of understanding who you are and research. These are the things I'm probably not going to be able to do. These are the things I might like to do. These are the things I know about myself. And then just researching the stuff that falls into like, okay, I might be able to do this. That's an idea. Um, but, you know, there's lots of ways to do so many things in this world. We just don't think about them because we just haven't thought about them. No one's ever brought them up to us. So I'm always just like, I don't know. There's a lot of people who try to tell you how to, you know what I mean? That's why, like, you don't see me doing a lot of certain types of videos. Because people ask me that a lot. Well, how do I, I'm like, I don't know. Like, I know, I know the little bit of stuff I know. I know how I did it. But, like, I think research, you know, a lot of people want to tell you, oh, by this course, I'll figure it out for you. But if that stuff doesn't work for you, like, so I'm always, like, just identifying. I'm trying to get about this wage slavery. And then seeing what you could research. Because there's so many different things in life, and then just seeing if something works for you. Yeah, yeah, mad villainy. If you're gonna troll, come with something clever, bro. Yeah, uh, produce. I think they're look just looking for you know. I don't think. I think some of them are just looking for like friendship hookups, but it's basically like I already have my mate, I already have my family, but I'm open to, you know, other stuff. But like this is I already got that, and and there's something to be said about that. Like I, I respect that opinion of like, and I promise you those marriages probably last longer than most. Because it's just like, hey, this is my thing over here. And I'm sticking with that. But, you know, if I meet someone and want to hang out, we can hang out, you know. So I respect it. You know, it's just not what I'm looking for, you know. Uh, Sabrina, this is the decor is, is black and white. Yeah. And I feel like you, if you find a job you like that pays well, I feel like that's not wage slavery. You know, you find something you enjoy doing, find some cool people, good company, 
and they've given you the coins you need, I don't think you see it as wage slavery. It's when we have to do stuff we don't like and they're not paying us no money. That feels like slavery. But if you if you can, you know, research and find a good situation, you go to work every day, chilling, you know. Saving money's a good one too, Carmen. Galveston said, when my kids finish college, I realize I didn't need as much money. That's a big one too. A lot of times we're making the money, we just blowing it. These days, maybe not as much with the, you know, but there's there's times where like we making money. We're just blowing it, you know. Yeah, JG, most people don't see an alternative. Um, the best slavery is one that people keep themselves in voluntarily. Like if you can convince somebody that the chains are, are for their benefit or that there are no chains, that you know what I mean? You just there are no chains, but you gotta stay here. You know what I mean? Like if you if you can convince someone to stay put without you having to make them stay put. When the chains are mental, like, bro, that's the best slavery ever. I'm always saying, why do you think they changed? You know? Why do you think, you know, all over the world? All right, for the most part, let's get rid of this this, this physical slavery. That's too much work. You got to house them and feed them, and you got to have dogs and whips and overseers and all this other stuff. They want to run away. That's too much work. That's old school. Now it's just like mental slavery. You just program people, starting with public school, you just program people that like this is this is what you have to do. And when we control and we make money off the this is what you have to do, people, you know, if you, you don't have to do nothing. You don't have to do nothing. You just make it mandatory or very difficult for them not to go to your little indoctrination camps and then you just sit back and they'll, they'll enslave themselves. And if someone comes along and says, like, hey, you know you're a wage slave, people are oh, that person crazy. Just simple, way easier than that old slavery. That old slavery was rough. It's, oh, oh, this new slavery is easy. Then you make way more money. You make way more money. Old slavery, you got about, you know, 10 good years out of somebody. Now you get their, pro their, their, their time, their energy, and their money their whole life. Way easier. Ain't nobody trying to do that old stuff. Do you have a favorite cartoon? Uh, does Bat the uh, uh, I don't do favorites, but I appreciate Batman, but that's not a cartoon. Victoria, you saw four kids crying leaving the school on Friday. I feel like you, they should be. Smiling on Friday. Hey, many, if, do what you got to do. Get your coins. You know what I mean? I ain't, I ain't judging. I ain't judging. Movie synopsis. I have not tried stand-up comedy. Uh, appreciate you saying that. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, I just don't know standing up in front of people. Like, I can I can tell a couple jokes sitting here. Um, but, like, I don't know in front of people. Would I, would I be comfortable? Uh, hang on one second, folks. I'll be right back.
We back. Gratitude grill, you didn't say nothing? You didn't talk? You, you, you talk to people? <laughs> There's elephants in the room. <laughs> I like that. I like that. I like that. Raining wombat. I care about that game. Hashtag don't ruin my zen. I feel you. It's rare you see a hashtag in the in somebody's username. Um, I was at the, the Sprouts market the other day, and they had this, this ginger root beer. So I said, let me try that. So it's it's non-alcoholic. It's ginger root beer. So try one of these. I went into the Sprouts because A, I wanted to go in there. And B, Google said they sold coffee in there, but they didn't. Like hot coffee. I didn't think they did, but Google said they did. It had the icon. So I went in there and I was like, I got to buy something, you know? Oh, I don't have any, someone asked, I don't have any gaming consoles. No, no. I just played some games on my PC. Mark hates the game and hates the commercials. That's very strong. That's a very strong take. Hates the game. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Why does Drake inspire me? I just like the, you know what I mean? You know, Drake's bachelor, good looking dude. You know, like you just feel like, like he has a cool life, you know? All over the world serenading women like i like drake he and he tells a good story that's what i like about drake he tells a good story he sells the lifestyle you know he tell like i like drake and it's just you know it's just inspiring like i'm not that but it's cool to see someone doing that you know what i mean living that life you know Chantel's about to start crashing barbecues to find the chicken smelling up your van. Oh, somebody around you's BBQing it up? Okay, okay. Man, you like Goggins? Hey, Goggins, he's inspirational too, man. You know? And, and I think he provides the type of inspiration that some people need. So that's why I like. So he's too hardcore. But some people need that, you know? Yeah, I'm t yeah exactly, Angela. Ex stripper baby mama, come on, bro. I'm surprised he only has one kid. I'm thoroughly surprised he only has one kid. Like, well, he might have more. Uh, JG, I don't have a favorite traveling spot. No, like I don't do favorites in general. So, like, I I just go places. Like, I I, I definitely don't rank traveling stuff. You know what I mean? Like, you just go place. Some you like, some you don't. You know, some places I might go back, but like I don't sit down and, like rank. Like, this is my favorite place ever. Uh, Living for Peace says, you don't get sad not having a woman by your side. Um, if I did, it wouldn't change anything. You know what I mean? So I think anyone who's single, especially if you've been single for a long period of time, there are times where you're like, man, it'd be nice to have a partner. But like, that ha like it doesn't change anything. So like, it's not like I'm like, oh, I'm sad. Let me fix it. Like, it's not a, it's not a situation I totally have control over. So like most of the time, no. Cause like, it's just, I'm so used to like, this is what I do. So I just be living life. And then occasionally you'd be like, man, it'd be nice to meet somebody. But like, you know, we all get lonely from time to time, but you know, you just have to embrace. It's not the end of the world to get lonely or get sad. You just kind of, it's an emotion and you move on, you know, kind of like you break your, it's like someone's like, it didn't hurt when you broke your foot. Yeah, but like, it broke my foot. you know what I mean? You just got to keep it pushing, you know? Uh, Drew, I'm not a big fan of Usher, no. So I, I won't be watching the halftime show. But, I mean, even when, I really don't watch halftime shows unless something crazy happens, you know? Oh, did you see? Like, I don't, you know, the next day when they have the video, I'm just like, eh, I don't know. It's just, excuse me. It just doesn't do nothing for me.
Hey, thank you, mommy. Says, hope God brings you the perfect partner. Hey, if it's in the cards, it's an abundant universe. So it's well within God's power to send me the perfect partner. Well, I don't believe in perfect, but to send me a partner, the right fit for me. So like, if it happens, it happens. If it doesn't, then that wasn't the abundance the universe chose to bless me with. So that's why I look at it. Like it's not, it's all womb to tomb. You know what I mean? It's womb to tomb. You just got to live. Whatever stuff comes along the way, you know, you make the decisions you can make to try to like have the best life possible. But some stuff, it ain't entirely in my control. So I'm like, if it happens, it happens. It doesn't, it doesn't, you know, hey, you know, we chilling either way. We chilling either way. So, you know, Munta, Munta. Hey, Fizzle, what up? Um, when I travel to a new place, you know, I do the same thing everywhere I go. I like nature, parks to walk in. I need my chicken wing spot. Yeah, like I mean, I don't, I don't do much. So it's, it's just uh, how early do I start looking at a location? Um, it just kind of depends on how long I'm at the one location, and then you know, if I know, oh, I got to be out of here in a month. Well, probably, you know, a couple weeks in, I'll start looking for, it kind of depends. I mean, it might be two days later, but oh, where am I going to go next? Like, it's just, I'm rarely going to ever stay anywhere probably longer than a month, you know? So I would love to find some place that was so good. I'm like, well, I'm staying here three months. Oh, I'd love that. Um, yeah. Uh, family doesn't give me backlash for being single. Um, and now it's been so long. You know, people look at you crazy. So why is this dude single? Why is he always single? So people say, oh, you must be gay. Which I was like, if I was gay, I wouldn't be single. Like, it'd be a lot easier probably to find another dude. Or maybe I wouldn't be. But like, I wouldn't be alone as much. I promise you that if I was gay. But, you know, people say little stuff. But once you get... After the longer you stay single, especially when you get like my age, I think people can wrap their head around it. Like, oh, Tim's just always single. But like in my early 30s and stuff, I think people kind of looked at me a little weirder. You know, they didn't really understand it. But it's like, I don't know why I'm single either. <laughs> I do know my walls are pretty high, you know. And some women say I have a fear of commitment and I self sabotage. I believe that. But so do lots of other people and they end up dating. So, I'm like, I don't fully understand it either, but like, what am I gonna do about it? Like, yeah, if there's not a if there's not a wardrobe malfunction, Tina, I'm bored. I'm bored. Hey Smith, what up, what up? Good to see you. Yeah, Patrick, we here, we here. Random noises, how you doing? <laughs> Knee knuckle Kansas, just <laughs> bro. That'd be crazy. That'd be crazy. That'd be crazy. So okay, Kansas will pay you student loan. You stay there long enough. Oh, portion of certain places. Henry Hill, how you doing? JG, I would not change anything in my twenties. No. No, no. I like who I am. I like the way my life turned out. And it's, you know, it's all been the journey leading here. So now, nah, no, nah, no. Nah. Not to mention, we don't know if changing something would change the whole course of our, you know what I mean? So like changing something would change our life for the better. So you might change your life for the worse. So nah, I'm, I'm, I'm very happy with my life where there's some things I did that, you know, maybe like times I hurt people. But like that was part of my journey and theirs. So like, how could I change that? You know? So yeah, I mean, what, you know, I'm, I'm, there's some things I've done that I wish I hadn't, but it was, it was part of it. You know, the only, the only way I learned not to do that stuff was by like doing it and seeing the pain it caused people, stuff like that. You know what I mean? So like, you gotta, this, that's one thing I think about a lot. We're so down on ourselves by the stuff we did in the past sometimes, but we had to do it to learn it was wrong a lot of times. That's how you learn. 
Someone can tell you your whole life, don't put your hand on the, on the, on the hot stove. But I promise you, you don't really know why they're saying that till you put your hand on or close to that stove. You feel that heat. Then you got it. You're like, oh, this is why mom said don't do that because that was hot. Just life. Like sometimes you got to do stuff to learn. You never really know until, you know, so it's part of living. Angel said, uh, my stepmom finally learned to quit asking me if I'm seeing someone. You know, if I am, I'm not saying it until I get to a certain level, then I know everything. Facts. That, you know, and I think people over a while, after time, they can just, they, it's easy for them to accept. Oh, she just don't date like that or she just you know what I mean and they probably have some theory in their head she got really hurt last time so she's just not dating for a while you know people have to justify it so I, I found the longer I'm single the more they can justify it you know Dropping light is hard. Oh, <clears throat> sorry. Oh. And one thing I know, like for me, because I don't talk a lot about it a lot, but like I have opportunities. Yeah, and I think that helps to, it can go both ways. When you know, like, oh, I have opportunities, but I just didn't think some of them were for me. It's not like, you be out there just like, oh, woe is me. Nobody likes me. It's just like, oh, I had opportunity. I just didn't choose to. But then it also kind of goes the other direction because sometimes you might be pursuing one of those opportunities and think it might be something. And then it ends up, you're like, oh, no, actually, no. I do see some red flags or whatever. Um, or sometimes it's vice versa. You whatever, whatever, then they kind of tell you, I don't, you know. So like that can go both ways. On the one hand, it's cool to know, like, okay, you know, I am a, a, a potential mate. But on the other hand, sometimes, like, dang, another one that didn't work out? But, like, I don't know. It's not like we just out here, you know, fishing and getting no bites. I'll just, it's just facts. Uh -huh. Yeah. Uh, Daniel, I don't know my 2024 summer working plans yet. I actually have a couple things in the works, some potential things. Um, actually, this week I'm supposed to talk to a couple people, so, <laughs> excuse me, um, we'll see. Uh, but I, I, you know, I've been putting some, sending some emails, filling out some apps, so if it, if it comes back, that's the right decision. Cool, um, there's some other stuff I'm thinking about, so yeah, we'll just see. Michael J, you remember the old comic book live stream? Did I do comic book live streams? I'm not sure. Did I do? Did I stream on that channel? I remember the old comic book videos. Did I live stream on that channel? I didn't even remember. It's been it's been a while on this YouTube. Love it, love it. You know, I think it's the best job going. It's got its stuff though. Uh, Alex says, how do you be happily single without ideas of settling down? I think it's possible to be as happy as possible in all situations. And, and, and being single isn't a, like, it's not like I don't have ideals of settling down. It's not like, you know what I mean? You can be like, okay, right now I'm single. But when I find the right person, I'm going to settle down. So it's not like you got to be like, oh, I'm single. I don't, you know, if you don't want to settle down, cool. But you could be like, right now I'm single, but if I found the right person, I'd settle down. Or you could be like, you know, with the right person, I settle down. So it's like, you can do both, you know. And and you can be happy in, once again, this is why I keep gratitude gorilla around. Because I think, especially when it comes to relationships, we've been sold that like you have to be in a relationship or something's wrong with you. So that's why people, on top of the like, yeah, sometimes you get lonely, there's also that social and societal pressure to be in a relationship because if you're not you're a weirdo but if you take that away and you're just like well you don't have to be in a relationship it's a lot easier to be single and happy because you're like okay when i'm not in a relationship i got more freedom i can do what i want you know and so you can find happiness in that 
oh, I'm, I can do what I want, got more freedom, I get to keep all my money, you know what I mean? Like, okay, I'm happy with that, you know? Thank you, Henry, thank you. Blessings to you and your family too. Well, you know, Michael, Anthony, I'm always traveling, you know. <laughs> Deborah said, I'm waiting to be discovered. I just know, I already know, like, one day, like, she's just going to cross my path. It might be a DM, it might be an email, it might be a, we see each other in person. I don't know, I just know it's going to, that's what I'm saying, like, when it when it goes down, it's just going to be, oh, this is the one, even though, like, it's not even a, you know, I don't know, like, it's just, it doesn't, I don't know, I don't know. And then it'll be like, dang, uh, I, now I'm shackled, not in a negative way, but man, all that stuff I used to do, you know? Dasher, they have sold us so many lies, like it's crazy. Simi, we here, we here. Uh, Gratitude Gorilla has no name. I don't name stuff, you know. I don't name my cars. I don't, they, yeah. No, he's just Gratitude Gorilla. He's just Gratitude Gorilla. Tara, what up? I said you're a marathon man. Hey, hey. You know, in, in some aspects. Um, good to see you. Not watch the game either? Yeah. Maybe I could rent a person? For what? I don't. You see, the, 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 the whole conversation proves the point that we're so conditioned that you have to be in a relationship. Because if we saw it as just like, some people are in one and some aren't. It wouldn't even be a conversation, right? It's just like someone's like, oh, my favorite color is orange. You say, oh, mine's blue. It done, conversation done. You're not like, oh, maybe one day you'll start liking blue too. You know what I mean? Because it's, 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 we see that as just different strokes, different folks. So like the fact that we're very like, oh, man, it'll happen. shows that like we think that the relationship's better when it's, just different, you know? Non-negotiables, um, I don't think they could smoke cigarettes. That would probably be one that I'm like, mm. you know, it, it's, it's hard to say there's a lot of non-negotiables other than like health stuff, like cigarettes, because that's probably, you're ruining my health. But like a lot of other stuff is just kind of, it depends on the situation, the person, you know? I don't, I don't want to sit down and make a list and then go off that list. Oh, she didn't do it. It's just like, let's meet and then like, we'll see, you know. <laughs> Brains a bear of plant taking eight. Wait. Last relationship to a lot out of you, Angela. I mean, yeah, sometimes you'd be like, bro, I'm just not ready to do that. Like, Timothy Ray Bennett said, make every day a Super Bowl in your life if you can. You're right with that. I mean, uh, I'm trying to see how that analogy works. I see what you're saying, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, probably not, Lee. Um, no. Like, like, I have no desire. Let me take that back. I have the desire, but since there's repercussions if I do, I don't see the point in saying where I'm at anymore. I'd love to be able to be like, oh, this is where I'm at, you know, but... I'm just going to take that out of the, you know, the equation. It's not my fault. 
It wasn't, I wasn't the one who started making videos saying I got kidnapped. It's not my fault. It's not y'all's fault. It's it, always somebody ruins it for the whole class. You know what I mean? I, earlier today, I realized I can't talk about all my hobbies no more because people will ruin it for me. And this is not be, me being whiny. This is just me realizing even after 10 years on the internet, there's some things, oh, okay, you probably shouldn't, you know. I'm, I'm getting more reserved, I'll say, sadly. But Jacob is listening to the stream with Tibetan music in the background. Okay, Tibetan meditation music. Malik said dating's not the same anymore. A lot of people say that. I've never really dated a ton, so I, I don't know. Uh, but a lot of people say that. Um, I, I, I kind of feel like as we don't, we're not keeping up with the changes in the world. So the world is changing and we're not keeping up with it. And so like a lot of the stuff has kind of changed because we're kind of behind. We're still trying to do stuff like we did it 20 years ago and the world's like 20 years ahead. And so it's messing, it's not meshing. Like if when we get caught up to it, we might be able to figure it all out. But like, I think the world is just technology and other stuff just changing so quickly. We're still stuck in, you know, in some of our ways. Yeah, back, yeah, you know, like, and so I think if we were caught up to what 2024 dating should look like, should look like, it'd probably be easier, but we're still navigating, getting there, you know. Kelly, appreciate that. Positive thoughts and praise to you as well. But I think we will navigate this. I mean, I, all things go to balance. So, you know, I think we're going through a period where marriage is down, relationships are down, sex is down. They said the kids ain't having sex like they used to. You know what I mean? Nobody, the sex is down. Um, and I think eventually that that it'll correct itself um it might be 20 years but i think the time will come and they're like oh everybody's getting married again baby explosion you know yeah yeah i mean it's just we we incorporate different technologies and stuff into our lives but then we expect everything to stay the same and it's like, you, you can't have it both ways. So like this stuff we do that a lot of it profit driven, it has real world implications. Like things change. And we we look up five years later and be like, why did that? It's like, bro, well, you gave everybody a smartphone. You know, you give the babies a tablet at three months and you, <laughs> and then you wonder why behavioral patterns change. Like, major change. You know how big a change that is? Smartphones to the world. But we expect everything to just stay the same. Why is it so hard to super, super like, you, you know what I mean? So like once we get caught up with this stuff, I think it'll start to work out, you know. Yeah, you, you got remote work, which I'm all for, but it does keep you from interacting with potential mates, you know. Until we start having remote work lunch hour. Like these are the type of things that will start happening or have to happen. People will be like, as someone who works by themselves, I would love this idea. If there was like, hey, all the remote workers meet up at this certain lunchroom every day from 1130 to 230. See, these are ideas we ain't had yet. Say, oh, if you work remotely, you're, you're probably missing out on human interaction. So they have there. There's no office space, or they can, but there's still the lunchroom. There's still the canteen. So if you're a remote worker, this is we we're open these times. Actually, probably be open all day long. You can come and get coffee. 
you come for lunch, you come later. So there'll be places where all the remote workers come to hang out on the breaks. So you can still get that interaction. Whereas now in your remote worker, like you just, and I have great Wi-Fi so you can work there or just like, hey, you can work here if you want to. You're working remotely, but every now and then you want to be around somebody. And I mean, they have like WeWork and places like that. But the ideal of like, it's more social than work. You just need, you know, you can show up, have a meal. You know, like, yeah, if I'm, for me, if I knew there was a place where like all the remote workers hung out, I'd go get my lunch there. Even if I just went in there, got my lunch, scanned the room. But it's like, oh, I know there's other people kind of like me, you know? So I think these are the type of ideals when we identify a problem, we have to start working to solve. But in the beginning, you don't realize it's a problem until the data comes out and it's like, oh, there might be some side effects of this, you know? What up, Michael O'Brien? A lot of Michaels in here. Hey, good night, Cap. Hope you have a good night, too. Uh, Bradley, if you don't have any interest, um, it, it'd be hard. I mean, you can still start a YouTube channel. You would just have to pick a topic. But I'm going to be honest, it'd probably be hard to keep it going. Because, like, you're not going to want to make videos week in and week out if you're not interested in something. Like, you know, it's possible. But... And I feel like if you're not interested in it, 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 it comes through on the video, you know, but it's possible. You just have to pick a topic and just make videos about it. I mean, I don't, and I understand a lot of people don't care about the Super Bowl, but I think like, Sometimes we demonize something we don't care about, but we got stuff we care about that's equally as stupid. You know what I mean? That's my only thing I, I would I would caution, you know, because a lot of people, oh, the Super Bowl's so stupid, it's this, this, but we all got stuff we care about that the people who like the Super Bowl think is stupid. Man, I'd rather do this. They'd be like, why would you do that? You know what I mean? Like, we all got stuff that we do and we spend our money on and we take a lot of time doing that's equally stupid. You may not like the Super Bowl, but you probably got a show you watch. What's the difference? You know what I mean? That's what I'm saying. I don't want to demonize the Super Bowl when we all got stuff we do that's dumb and pointless, but we enjoy it. If you love the Super Bowl, watch it. Have fun. I'm just not watching it because I don't care. You know, but let the Sweet 16 roll around. Women's Sweet 16. Bro, I'm there. I'm there. If I had to rate the human experience from 1 to 10, uh, I feel like it's always going to be 8, 9, or 10. Like, the human ex all of this is part of the human experience. So, like, the experience differs, but it's always still the human experience. That's what I look at it like I'm here experiencing what it's like to be a human. You always get like a 10 because there's always something going on. People go, oh, you got to experience the 2020s with all the crazy, bro. You know what I mean? So like I'm going to give it a 10 because it's, it's, it's exciting. It's interesting. You know, there's always something happening. Alyssa, how you doing? How you doing? Glad you came on back. That's what I'm saying. Like, like I, I, I don't like the fact that, and it's a byproduct of the society we live in. But we're very quick to like totally down other people's stuff, but then like our stuff is sacred, 
And it's cool to be like, yeah, I just don't rock with that. But like, we don't have to say other people are just stupid for liking it. You know, they just like something different than we like, you know? Ooh, unless you're going to seasonal job soon. Oh, nice, nice. Okay, um, 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 this is, I don't know what that's about, but I'm tired of reading it, so. You know, sometimes I just, I, you know, it, uh, just a timeout. Just a timeout, because I don't know what was talking, what's going on there. You know, I, 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 you know, I just live and let live. Like people do what they do. There's nothing to do. There's no rules. Just do what you know. If it ain't bothering nobody, and you enjoy it, do it. You know, like, you know. but you don't have to demand that other people do it. You know, or look down on what other people do. Yeah, you just. You know. I'll tell you, let the, mm -hmm, wait, the, the NWSL starts next month. What? <laughs> softball started, it, bro. Oh, I forgot there was a softball game I can watch tonight. You know, I, you know people enjoy, you know, enjoy what you enjoy. Just enjoy. Here's my thing. Enjoy something. Enjoy what you enjoy. Just please enjoy something. And and don't get your enjoyment from putting down what other people enjoy. <laughs> uh, um, have I ever had people I thought were friends or acquaintances turn into trolls? Yes, yes, yes. Um, sadly, that happens on the internet. From time to time. So yes. Um yeah. Especially when you when you meet them on the internet and you oh even vibing, whatever, that's believable. And then they turn into trolls, they start trolling you, um, they get mad at you, they disappear, unsubscribe, don't tell you why. Yeah. I don't hear noise. Like it's it's it, it is possible to meet some amazing people and, and cultivate some really amazing friendships on the internet. People who you feel like you almost know them, even if you haven't met them. And some people you know you haven't met them. It is also possible to think you found that and then find out later that they're not really your friends or something changed that you don't really know. Part of it. <laughs> Content creator, best job in the world, but it comes with its stuff. So. Uh, Angel's name is Blue because she's the moderator. Yeah, Tara, you're definitely not alone. Not alone. You'll also find that sometimes people will cultivate friendship with you on the internet to try to get something out of you. And then, you know, when they when they finally ask, it's like, oh, this is why you wanted to? Yeah, it comes with it. They only learn that the hard way. Yep. 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 Oh, yeah. Simba, that's highlighted. Yeah. Hey, Averse. Why? Why I asked Averse? Discovered the channel a few weeks ago. It's loved it ever since. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate you sticking around. Do I think World War III could be coming? Uh, it's a possibility. I mean, we've had two, so. And we ain't stopped war, so. It's a possibility. Yeah. I don't I don't. Personally, I don't spend too much time worrying about it because if it comes, if it's coming, there's nothing I can do to stop it. So, I mean, obviously, I don't want it to, but like, it's it's a possibility. We've had two, so it would make sense one day we'd have three. But 
You know, I, I, I don't look at the world and be like, yep, that's an indication of World War Three. Like, that's just too stressful. So, like, I'm just, it comes, it comes. Like, you know, I hope it doesn't, but like, I, it's a possibility. But there's a million possibilities. That It's a possibility it never comes. You know, it's a possibility we learned our lesson and it never comes. So, if both are possibilities, I don't need to worry about either. You know what I mean? There's a million possibilities of bad things that could happen. There's a million possibilities of good things that could happen. So, you know, I just kind of live each day and, you know, if it comes, it comes, you know. What's up, Missy Moda? Uh, simple. I think traveling is overrated to the people who feel it's overrated. I think it's underrated to the people who feel it's underrated. You know, I don't, I don't think you can universally say anything is under or overrated because different people rate it differently. So. The algorithm got you here, Minnie? Yes, I love the algorithm. The algorithm is your best friend, man. Traveling can definitely be exhausting. Yes, yeah, I think anybody will tell you traveling can be exhausting. You know, but it, it's 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 what you do. It's you know, for me, it's what I do. Shout out to the people sitting through the commercials. Were they good commercials? Oh, it's probably, probably they'll, they'll start putting the Super Bowl commercials in rotation tomorrow, probably. Uh, Tar, I think it's possible that parallel timelines exist. But, like, if we never know about them, do they exist? You know? But, I, I mean, it's, it's, it's within the realm of possibility. And, and, you know, I think if you have an ideal of something you think might happen, it's very easy to connect the dots and find something to say, oh, you know, um, and there's, you know, the, the, the Internet is full of doom and gloomers. And that's kind of what they do. They just sit around, connect the dots. Oh, this is happening. This is happening. And they do it for clicks and views and likes, you know, and money. But. They're really just guessing. So, like I said, it's just as likely good things happen. You know what I mean? So, like, it's just, I don't know. It, it's, it, it's a pointless game to sit around and try to, you know, do your research and prepare. Don't get scared. Get prepared. But, like, a lot of times we're not preparing. We're just stressing ourselves out. So, that's my thing. I'm not trying to stress myself out worrying about World War III. If I was living back in the 30s and 40s, I would have much rather, like, enjoyed my life up until 42 or whatever when the U.S. entered World War II. I know the people from Europe is like, World War II started in 38, actually. But like, I would have much rather enjoyed my life up until then and then went through holy hell as opposed to like stressing about it two, three years beforehand, you know? Patricia in Portland, checking in from Tennessee. Patricia in Portland. Hello from Tennessee. Oh, I see. I got, I got you. I got you. Patricia out there moving around. Okay. Okay. I I, I have not seen the movie Shazam. Um, it's, not, it's a DC. Pro DC has been. Is DC Shazam? Is DC Shazam? I haven't seen it though. Oh, Minnie's in Jersey. All right. Deborah, I'd, I'd love to visit. I don't think I want to live in Japan, but I want to visit there. Yeah, definitely. When you get there, let me know. <laughs> Tara's on the Love Boat train. The chocolate's on there. Facts. Love Boat 3. What happened to Love Boat 2? Is there Love Boat 2? Love Boat 3. Okay. Got chocolate. Love Boat 2 didn't have chocolate. Okay. Got gotcha, you. Got gotcha. you. Eugene checking in from Aurora, Illinois. I'm not vegan, Ahmed. No, no, no. 
Hey, thank you, Patricia. I love the channel. Thank you. Netro wants to visit China. I'd love to visit China, too. It seems like it'd be cool. Uh, Wilkins, I was going to watch the game. I decided not to because I realized I really don't care. So, And I was going to bet on it and then watch it. I was like, I don't even want to bet on it. Like, for what? Like, so. Though if somebody had told me that Taylor Swift took the spotlight from the game, I might have watched it. Like, someone will put together a compilation, all the Taylor Swift stuff from the game. If she was there, I'll watch that. Like, I'm a Swifty. I'm definitely a Swifty. Sorry, I was, I was burping. Yeah, I'm not a vegan eating all the wings and, and those those cauliflower wings. No, no, no. Pizza, just get the cauliflower wings. No, no, I'm, I'm grown. I'm grown. Maybe one day. I keep saying... It will probably involve a female. And she'll be like, oh, try this. Try this plant-based diet. And I'll be like, okay, all right. Like, I wouldn't be opposed to trying it. I just know left to my own devices, I'm not going to do it. Broccoli wings. Is it broccoli wings or cauliflower wings? I think it's cauliflower wings. Oh, CBU was born in Japan? Oh, nice. Yeah, they got like cauliflower wings or something. They're supposed to mimic hot wings. They don't. I mean, they mimic them. You know, they mimic them. Um, much in the same way that a Michael Jackson impersonator mimics Michael Jackson. It's so far from the. It's close. It looks like it, but it ain't. The, it ain't. It ain't. It ain't Mike. It ain't Mike. Yeah, cauliflower wings are a thing. I think so. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. I think it was cauliflower. I'm sure it wasn't broccoli. Yeah, cauliflower wings. Yeah, buffalo cauliflower wings. They're they're not I'm telling you. They're not they're not good. To to a true wing kind of wang connoisseur. To, <laughs> stop. To a true wang connoisseur, they're not good. They're not good. Love you too, not your mommy too. I have wondered about that too, many. Like when people catfish you, then they show up. It's like, bro, I'm gonna know that's not you. I don't understand why, like, I, men may do this too, but I know on dating apps, women will put pictures of themselves like 10 years ago, 15 years ago. Men probably do it too. I'm like, you do know I'm gonna find out when I see you. So maybe it's like, oh, if I get them on the hook, they won't care. I'm like, no, that's dishonesty. I'm out. Like, I don't understand. Men do it too. Okay. Which I don't understand. I'm like, are you, like, I get, you'd be like, oh, I look younger when I was, you know, 25. But if you're 45 now, people going to know. You don't think that, like, that does, does that, some people don't about, oh, yeah, he lied about his picture, but I'm fine. Uh, EB23 says, how do you get around without a car when you travel just every day commute? Um, I use Uber. I take public transportation or I walk. Like, and I mean, like, I, some areas, Uber is crazy expensive. Other areas, is not. But I mean, it just is what it is. Like, if I know I got to go for my air to the airport to my Airbnb, like, I just got to pay I just got to pay it. Like, I would much rather pay $40 to get from the airport to my Airbnb than have to have to have a car. You know what I mean? So, like, it's just part of it, you know. You know, you, you, pick, a, you pick a lifestyle and you have to, you know, do what you got to do. You know what I mean? Like, it's just... It's part of it, you know. Mm. 
No pain, no pain, no gain. No gain. <clears throat> and it's something, I mean, you know, it, 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 it's also well saying that like, when I do have to take a ride or something and it, it's, or when I do have to like walk in the rain like I did the other day or, you know, I, the Uber is more than I would have liked to, you know, like to pay. I just don't dwell on it. Just like, oh, this is, you know, you chose this lifestyle. Now you got to live it. And then it's, that's what we do as humans anyway. Like whatever we're going through, we adapt, we do what we got to do. So once you just realize, all right, I'm going to do what I got to do. You don't have to get all worked up about it, you know. Uh, Jade, I sold the car. Um, it started to have some mechanical problems and it was still running, but I, I thought it was smarter to sell it while I was still driving. That way I was in control of when I got rid of it or when I was carless. Cause you know me, I like I road trip. So if like, if I was just living in one place, I probably would just drove it till it blew up. Cause like, it'd be very simple to call a tow truck, get rid of it. But when I drive, I'm road tripping six, eight, 10 hours cross country. It's not no, I'm not going to risk every trip I take it blowing up in the middle of nowhere. So when I was in Denver, I was like, this is probably the best spot to get rid of it. I took it up to the CarMax. They cut me a check. It took less than like an hour or like right at an hour. Boom. So, yeah. See you, RWD said, I stopped watching the Super Bowl after the millionaire NFL players start claiming they're victims of oppression. You know, I I, I see some Hollywood actors and actresses, and while I feel their pain, it's funny to me that we'll focus on them being still very wealthy and saying they're underpaid but we won't focus on people who are actually underpaid, like broke and underpaid. It's just funny to me. I think about stuff like that. You know, it's just like, here's somebody, minimum wage is still 750 in some states. And there's people making that. But I'm supposed to worry because you only made 1.5 million last year and other people made 3 million. You know what I mean? I feel you. That's wrong. You should be making three. But I'll get around to that when Janice down there at the plant is making a hundred grand and not thirty thousand. You know what I mean? That's valid. Like oh uh, yeah, Wilkins. I looked into Carvana and some, what was another one I looked into? But yeah, I research. You know, Tim always does his research. One thing Tim gonna do, he gonna do his research. So yeah, I uh, I did my research. Yeah. Hey Tiffany, have a great week. Good, good to see you. Yeah, I know who Peter uh, Santanello. I watched some of his stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's crazy. 725 minimum. That's that annoys me. Yeah. That annoys me. And while I think there are a lot of places where the minimum wage is low and nobody actually pays that, there are some places they do. And still, even if you're like, oh, it's 725, but no one pays that, most places start at 10. That's nothing too. You know what I mean? Like people, if you work 40 hours a week, you should get a livable wage. You know? Who makes the best wings? Uh, Lonigans in Estes Park, Colorado. I don't like boneless wings. That's I'm a I like an actual wing, you know, the way it came off the bird. I don't know what that is in the boneless wings because I know when they had a wing shortage, they still had boneless wings. Remember back in 2020, they had this wing shortage. You couldn't get regular wings. They still have boneless wings because I went down there to the Buffalo Wild Wings and I said, I'd like a 20 piece. And they said, we can't give you regular, only boneless because we have a wing shortage. I said, well, what's in the boneless wings, sir? And they said, do you want your 20 piece or not? 
and wear a mask, sir. Um, so I don't know what's in the boneless wings. So I, I'm, you know, I'm a red-blooded American. I like, I like my bone in. Darwin said, give me half a mil, never work again. Ooh, California minimum wage is fine for food service workers. Oh, cool, 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 go, go. Sets that boneless wings are mechanically separated body parts. I'm still confused. <laughs> uh, movie synopsis, the 40 hour work week uh, came about in the 20s, I think it was. Actually, the 40 hour work week was actually better than what it was before. So before the 40 hour work week, they was working people like 70, 80 hours, you know. So them saying oh, it's only going to be 40 hours is actually a good thing. Um, but yeah, it was just something that they came up because it was like eight hours for work, eight hours for sleep, eight hours for play. That was kind of what how they sold it, um, which I get because before you was working 15 hours or whatever. So they were like, you know, split the day up that way. Eight hours for work, eight hours for sleep, eight hours for play. So that's how it came about. See how good of branding that is? Because if you say chicken nuggets, grown-ups don't want it. No, nah, I'm cool. But if you say boneless wings, people are like, I eat wings. See, this brand, it's all branding, marketing, marketing. Christine, how you doing? Garuda Legends in the building. Eight hours to work, eight hours to twerk. Ow. Oh, well, could you like? Yeah, this is a cool, this is a cool picture. It's a cool little, you know. Christine, you hanging in there? Uh, uh glad to hear that. Glad to hear you hanging in there. Uh, I'm good, I'm good. Can't complain. Can't complain. Big blessed, you know. Some financial YouTubers are saying work three jobs so you can buy their course. No, I'm just, I mean, I mean, that's just crazy. <laughs> eight hours to work, eight hours to sleep, eight hours to blow your money because you feel good because your job sucks. <laughs> I mean, yeah. Yeah, there's a lot of people saying lots of things on the internet to get you to spend money with them. So, that's why I look at it. Like, is, the, is there a motive behind what you're saying? What does this person get if I believe what they're saying? Target, you're not trying to work more than 30 hours a week again? Nice. Mindless Dylan. Starting van life in June. Yes, that's awesome. That's awesome. That's awesome. Good luck. Good luck. Summertime, summertime. <clears throat> Pizza rolls. Ha. Huh. I think I used to like them. I don't know. I haven't eaten them in a while. You know, I, uh, yeah, there's some financial content creators who are in it for the right reason, I feel like. And if they reap the benefits from that, cool. But there's a lot of people in it because that's one of the most lucrative spaces to be in, you know. Sourdough pizza rolls. OK. Yes, Mindless Dylan said, started watching you 2021, quit a toxic job on the fly 2022, decided to prepare for van life in 2023, now 2024, we're doing it. Let's go. You see the progression? You see the natural progression? Hey. Oh, yeah, that's awesome. That's awesome, Dylan. That's awesome. Good luck. Good luck. Let's go. 
I'm excited for you. Tara just made some pumpkin white chocolate sourdough cookies. That's a lot happening in them cookies. Sounds good, though. Pumpkin white chocolate. Pumpkin white chocolate sourdough cookies. Okay. Less happening than I thought. Okay. I used to eat Totino's pizzas more than I would eat pizza rolls. I used to eat just the, the, the circle, you know, the little circle pizza, the cardboard pizza. You better off eating the box. You know what I mean? You better off putting the box in the microwave, warming it up for about three minutes and eating that than the actual pizza. But yeah, I used to eat those a lot. I used to be, you know, it was Totino's pizzas, you know what I mean? Uh, ramen noodles, sandwiches, and beer. All the, the beer costs more than the meal. Always had to have that drink, you know. Uh, mommy, I I do not think drinking is always a symptom of something else unhealed. I think I talked about this the other day, but I think that's something we've been sold to make us believe there's always something wrong with us. That everything is a symptom of something else these days. Nobody just does stuff. For example, someone asked me like, "What was? Why did you drink?" Because I like to drink. You know, do I have issues? Yeah, like everybody else. I just like getting drunk. You know, so I don't think everything has some underlying issue that needs to be explored and fixed. This whole idea we're always trying to fix ourselves nonstop is crazy to me. Everybody's broken now. Everybody's got something to fix. We're all human. Yeah, we all got our stuff, but like some some is just you. You know what I mean? Some sometimes things happen. We deal with it. We move on. Like everything doesn't have to be dug up and fixed. Like that's and my issue with it is the fix usually costs money. Well, you need therapy. You need you need pills. You need this. Like whatever happened to just being like some of this stuff is life, bro. Like sometimes you just make decisions. Just my thoughts. Just my thoughts. Seth about to buy an RV. Okay, okay. Uh, I don't drink non-alcoholic beer because it's kind of like, what's the point? One time when I was trying to quit and cut back, I did, but it always just made me want real beer. So, you know, I I, I, I equate drinking non-alcoholic beer to going to the dope man and being like, hey, I ain't gonna buy no more Coke, but can you sell me some asp crushed up aspirin so I can snort? You know what I mean? Like, what's the point? Like, if you're not doing it, don't do it. Hey, can I pay the same amount for some crushed up aspirin? Because I'm trying to quit Coke. Definitely the dope man will sell it to you. I got all you need. Just like the beer companies will sell you non-alcoholic beer. Get hooked on our product. And then when you're trying to quit, we got something else you can buy too. No, I'm not to know. Which I understand if some people use that. I'm not knocking it. That's just the way I looked at it. I'm going to keep giving my the dope man the money when I'm not getting the what up. No, no. That's the way I looked at it. If they're not getting my money, if they get my money, I'm getting drunk. I'm going to give them the same money. It ain't like they out there giving away non-alcoholic beer. Oh, it's half price. It's the same price. And I don't get drunk. What am I drinking it for? Like, you got... Mm. Oh, Patricia, yeah, I have it set up to where it can, they can play commercials on the stream. Yeah. When you're setting the stream up, it'll tell you. It'll ask you, do you want to do that? So, full disclosure, I'm getting my coins. Not very much, but yeah. It's the same price for a non alcoholic beer. Like, what's the put? Like, put so you put less than it? It's just. Uh, Patricia, do what you like. If you want to skip them, skip them. Like I don't. Yeah. I think you're legally not allowed to tell people to watch the commercials. By the way, too, you, YouTube doesn't like that. So the average the advertisers don't like that. They want you to watch them organically. Um. So.
I'm like I said, get that bag. You know, you know I, I leave a lot of money on the table, but some stuff I'm like, you know, I'll take them a couple cents. I'll take them a few coins. You know, I don't think it disrupts all that much. Um, Tar says, all the money you spent on dope now goes to sourdough. Hey, hey, do it. Dylan, Montana's a beautiful state. There's tons of places of interest. I mean, Yellowstone's in Montana. Glacier's in Montana. Um, yeah, Montana's got a ton of cool places to go. So, yeah, yeah. Most people don't realize there's two national parks in Montana, like two of the big ones. Nobody talks about Montana. Um, but it's an amazing state. The people in Montana wish less people knew about Montana. Because now, like, people on the West Coast know about it. But, like, yeah, Montana's a cool state. Sour dope. Oh, oh. no. Oh. Yeah, Montana's pretty, man. Like, I, I was pleasantly surprised. Like, I didn't know nothing about Montana either when I went there. I just got a job at Yellowstone, so I had to go through Montana. Yellowstone's in Wyoming, too, and parts of Idaho. So I actually was working at Wyoming, but had to go through Montana. I'm like, man, this is nice. This is nice. <laughs> uh, Jonah, I haven't spent much time in the Northeast at all. That is one area of the country I'm lacking in experience in. So I do want to change that um, soon. Oh, Kaveen, I mean, Montana, like all other states, I mean, rent's different in different areas, but it is getting very expensive. Um, yeah, like Bozeman, where I, where I lived for a while, I can't afford to live there now. So sadly, like if I could afford to live in Bozeman, I probably would have a place there. Like, but yes, yeah, yeah. Montana is because it is so beautiful that the people who know about it are willing to spend large amounts of money to live there, you know? So that just raises, yeah, it's, it's, it's getting worse. I mean, there's still places like, uh, you know, um, Billings that nobody likes, boom. I mean, sure. It's okay. By Montana standards, Billings is, ugh. but in their small towns all through Montana, but it is getting more expensive. Oh, Drew, you've been to Helena, Missoula, Bozeman? Yeah, they're nice cities. Also, the commercials were garbage this year. Did they, did they have the David and, and Victoria Beckham commercial? I want to see that one. Oh, also, you're moving to Las Vegas next week for a while? Um, anything you should check out? Yeah. I mean, the main thing I did when I was there was go to the WNBA game. So, you know, Vegas is Vegas. So there's all kinds of stuff to check out. It just depends on what you like. Be Millie Kid. Yeah, stay strong, stay sober. That's a good shirt. Stay strong, stay sober. All right, let's make that. To get a wing spot. Hey, I would I would love to get I would love to get a sponsor of this something that like it made sense. I said I was gonna get a sponsor this year. Like if I could get a water sponsor or like a chicken wing sponsor, or, like a clothes sponsor, like something that made sense. As opposed to just like getting a sponsor to get it, you know. Darn, I cut my own hair. What do you do when it's negative 10 in Montana? Um, I've been there when it's negative 10. I mean, you just deal with it. Like, I mean, you got heat. and You know, I remember one day we got off the bus. I think the coldest I knew it was, the coldest it's been and I knew the temperature, it was like negative 16 one day at work. And I remember the walk from the bus to the door. Or that day it might have been negative 10, but it did get to negative 16 one day. But I remember one day it was super negative. And I remember that walk. Boy, that was probably the longest short walk of my life. Just a little five-minute walk, if that, from the bus to the door.
to getting that heat. Boy, everybody was just like, huh. <laughs> but it was high. I mean, like you were, you got clothes for it. Yeah, I would like to sponsor something interesting. I'd love to sponsor Cool Works, but like I don't think they need a sponsor. I could all just I could ask. Like I haven't asked them. Yeah. I remember once yeah, I was at work and it said neg negative 16 on the thing. I was like, ooh. But I mean, like, like I said, you got your coat, you got your gloves, long johns if you need, like it's not the end of the world. Like you just stay inside a lot, but when you do go out, like I mean it's you know. You know, I love it. Eh. I'm not wearing as much North Face now, so definitely no Patagonia. But uh, I don't even know. But I, North Face wouldn't. I don't do enough physical stuff. They wouldn't sponsor me. Uh, Jonah, it wasn't that cold a lot, but it, you know, routinely is getting to zero. You know what I mean? So it's not on, I mean, it's, it's regular, though it's not often, it's regular. You know what I mean? Like that, that's going to happen. But like, I mean, yeah, getting in the, the teens and the, and the zero and the negatives is, you know, it's regular in wintertime. The thing about Montana was like, it's winter for like six months. That's what would get me. Like it's winter like half the year. So it's just like after about four months of winter, you know, you got two more, you know what I mean? Like, that's what would get me. It's like, bro, it's always winter time here, you know? Uh, actually, I never wore long john, so I don't know the best. I never wore any. Like, I, I would just wear, you know, sometimes I would get some, they sell, like, insulated pants. So I would wear, like, insulated pants, good boots. I might have a long sleeve shirt on, my regular shirt, my jacket, some gloves, and, like, a skull cap. And, like, that was, I never wore long johns. Like, I think my first winter I did. And I was like, I don't need this. Like, it's not, you know, if your, your legs aren't going to freeze, like, you know, you know, you know. Hey, see you later, Wilkins. Yeah, like it was the ideal of like, oh, cold was way worse than, and I mean, it gets cold, but like, it's just cold. Like when it's hot, it's just hot. You know what I mean? Like you're not. It's not the end of the world. You just kind of deal with it, you know? I remember one time I was walking around. I I just, I went and quit a job. And I didn't know it was this cold. Like, I knew it was cold, but, like, I was like, oh, I'm going to walk up there and quit this job. Because it was probably a 20-minute walk from my house. I was like, I don't feel like driving, you know? I don't like driving snow, ice. I was like, I'll walk. But it was, like, zero. And so I walked. I quit. And I actually filmed a video. Um, it's like, it's three days too early to quit a job. It's still up, but I filmed a video and then I was walking back home. So by this time I was pretty frozen and I was right at the light that I had to cross the street to like get into the place I stayed, um, the, the, the neighborhood I stayed in. And some dude pulled up and was like, it's zero degrees out here. Do you need a ride? <laughs> he was looking like I was crazy. Cause like nobody was out, like nobody's walking around. Nobody was out. You know, and it was still kind of early in the morning. He was like, man, it is zero degrees out here. Do you need me to, you need to ride somewhere? I was like, no, nah, I'm going right there. He was like, man, you better, you better. But I, it wasn't that, I'm like, like, I was cold, but like, and it, like I, I knew I had 10 minutes, I'd be home. You know what I mean? So like, it wasn't a huge deal. You know, like, you just cold, you know. But I mean, when I was in Colorado, it's cold, you know, like it just, You know, my my probably biggest thing with the cold, and this happened more probably in Colorado than anywhere else, when I'd go out to make a video and I'd have to have my hand out my pocket on the selfie stick, that hand would like be so frozen. You know what I mean? Because I would, I would walk 15, 20 minutes into the woods. Sometimes I'd go into Rocky Mountain National Park. This is when I worked at the Y, so. The YMCA of the Rockies butts up to Rocky Mountain National Park. So I might walk in the National Park, film a video. And so, like, when I got my hands in my pockets, walking, I'm fine. Because everything's covered up, hands in my pockets. But as soon, even with the glove on, 
as soon as you take, and here's the thing, you got to take the glove off to get the camera set up. Get your selfie stick, put the camera on. The power button's too small. You can't do that. You know what I mean? You got to take the glove off. So even if that takes a minute, that hand gets cold if it's like 10 degrees. You know, it's 10 degrees, like anything, but you know, anything below 30, you know, so like if it's like 15 degrees out, even if you just take that glove off for a minute, your hand is like frozen. Then you got to film the whole video with your hand outside your pocket. By the time I would finish that 10 minute walk and talk or whatever, my hand would be my hands would be just like so cold because like this one's freezing now. So I got to use the other one to take everything down. Like my hands would be so frozen. And then I still had to walk like 20 minutes back to my employee housing. That's probably the most miserable I would get. And I would do that consistently. Like every time I was doing a video in the wintertime, it's typically that cold. But that like literally my hands would be so cold. When I got back to employee housing, I could barely get in my door with my key because I was just like, and then I would have to sit on my hands for like 10 minutes. I'm not lying. I tell you, you know, like when your hands are unthawing and they get that tingly, they hurt when your hands are so frozen, like when they unthaw, they hurt. That's what would happen. Like I'd be sitting on my hands. I'm like, like they feel like they're on fire. Like that's probably my worst experience with the cold, but you got to do it to get them videos. You know, like I said, I had gloves, but you got to like when it's 10 degrees, even if you got gloves on, if you keep your hands outside your pockets long enough, like, you know, what I mean, especially if you take it off and do whatever it, it don't once you take it off and that hand freezes, it don't unfreeze, you know, but you do what you got to do to get the videos out, you know. But th that would always I'd be walking back to housing. I'd be like, <sighs> like, I just want <laughs> I just. Uh, it'd be funny, it, but it used to hurt. Yeah, Jay, it, it takes, you know what I mean? It takes a while to get the motion back. Like, I, and, and Tara, I used to have hand warmers. Yeah. Like when it's cold, cold, don't none of that. Short of you having paying and getting like some really fancy heated gloves that have like an actual heating element in them. I would have hand warmers, all that. And the hand warmers helped a little, but like when it's cold, like the, you can't stop free. Like when it's freezing temperature, as soon as it come out the pocket or come out that glove for any extended time. No, like, you know. Not, not, you know, but it, it's what I had to do to make video. So like. I think gloves and jacket with heat warms are safe. Yeah, I mean, I don't think they would be able to make them if they weren't, you know what I mean? Consistently safe. Like, Chantal had to ski to school because the buses couldn't make it. That's cold right there. That's cold right there. That's cold right there, boy. I'd be like, well, we just ain't. Well, I guess if it was long enough, you have to go to school. You know, that's why I'm like, you know, this winter, I don't think I want to be in the snow like that. I was in it a little bit, um, October, November, but I'm like, I don't know if I want to be snow like that. You know? Does mosquito does Montana have mosquito swarms in summer? Not where I was at, no. No. Honestly, Montana had part of the reason I like that part of the country, nothing like the bugs in Florida. You know, so I'm sure there are probably some areas where, there, where I was at now, nah. like, you know, Bozeman, Big Sky. No, nah, we didn't really have mosquitoes like that. Nah. Nah. Yeah, I'm, 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 I'm sure I'll do a cold winter again since I'm not scared of it now, but like. Yeah, man. Dylan, you've been working, 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 sleeping, working. <laughs> hey, I just been, you know, living life, traveling to a couple places, you know, YouTubing it, you know, the usual. I don't I don't do much. You know, you ask me a year from now, it'll be the same thing. I hope. You know, we don't we don't do much. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, we just hit three hours. Um, the numbers are still looking good, but I think I'm going to jump off. Um, I probably need to eat something. 
figure out what I'm going to do this evening. Let y'all get back to the game. Apparently, it's still going on. I know some of y'all want to watch it. Um, thank y'all. Thank y'all. Thank y'all so much for tuning in. I appreciate the love. I appreciate the support. It was good to hear from you all. Big shout out to the Super Chat Squad. Thank y'all so much. Um, have a wonderful evening, wonderful night, day, wherever you're at. Um, stay blessed. Stay hydrated. Uh, stay abundant. Me and Gratitude Gorilla. Love each and every one of y'all. Talk to you soon.